can we get a tire? So high. Brown, brown, brown. Brown, 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 brown. Would Jesus use a bidet? He would clean his ass with wine for sure, yeah. I didn't put the Ragnarok stream up. God fucking damn it. I knew I forgot to do something. I did some banking. I answered my email. I, I talked to, to people about the game. Uh, God damn it. I knew I forgot to do something. You sound drunk? I'm not, not drunk. I would never stream drunk. I don't get drunk. I haven't been drunk since... Uh, Oh man. What is drunk really? How 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 drunk do you have to be to be drunk? I've been tipsy. But how like what is the classification of drunk? Is drunk you don't remember? Like do you have to be like blackout drunk to be considered drunk? No? Like, like, what? what is the definition of drunk? Like, at, wh at what level is, is actual drunk? Drunk is above tipsy but below blackout drunk. Okay. I, I, haven't, I haven't been drunk in, uh... I don't think I was drunk at any point in my 20s. I think the last time I was drunk, I was 19. No, is that true? Maybe 21. It's been a long time since I was drunk. Sorry we're late, I was taking a poop. I took a can of compressed air up with me, also known as the gamer's bidet. Man, yesterday's um, yesterday's cracking the cryptic is a is a is a mf'er, huh? I have two digits and that's it. Are they two fives? No, it's it's a four and a nine. Are the other two digits I have? I have a four and a six isolated down into one domino, or, or two potential dominoes. Um, I have fours and sixes in, in two other boxes, pretty narrowed down. Um, but I just I just can't get a grasp on what the next step is supposed to be. Can't talk spoilers in here, right? Uh, you have to go. To, are you is are you the same Sony bro? I, I'm seeing your name on on Discord now. Are you serious? What magical powers? Yes. What magical powers do you have that for whatever reason your messages like, like my eyes just go boom. Like how? How? How the hell? There's a spoiler chat under stream stuff subheading, and you can talk spoilers there. How the hell? Hello, Joseph. You're cute. I am feeling pretty cute today. I got my new shirt on, my new green uh, plaid shirt. I'm feeling very much like a Rachel Amber myself. I'm uh. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm having a good hair day. My ass is clean. And so am I. Is it flannel? It is flannel. Thank you for asking. Alright, let's get the game up. Use any ball wash today? I did use some ball wash today. Thank you for asking. During my morning shower. 
Is flannel the material or the type of clothing? Yes. I think flannel is a pattern, is it not? It's a very, um, it's a very tasteful dark green plaid. Plaid or plaid? Plaid, plaid shirt. It is incredibly warm, which is nice for the basement. I don't think we have to put the heater on today because I have this on. But Florence is on, so we can't have the heater on right now anyway. Is it a material? It is a material. Alright. Episode 3 now. What's the episode called? Wastelands. Faith Wolves. Oh, Faith is going to be bad. Alright, here we go. We got some background talk. Alright. Ugh, this boring ass game. True! Joe with the shit takes again. Flannel is material. What are you. What, flannel is material. Is, is this. Okay. Is this not cotton? Or is flannel made of cotton? It's like mixed with something else? I don't. I don't know. So this one is just being wrong a shit take. I think shit takes, a shit take is only for opinions. You can't, if you like, yeah, the earth is flat, wow, that's a shit take. No, it's not, it's just wrong, motherfucker. Like, that's not a shit take. Earth is round, wow, fucking cool take, bro. Like, no, you're just right. Damn you whoever makes these bets. What's what's the bet? Alright, we have to have a talk chat. We have to we have to have a talk, alright? It has come to my attention that most of you are not cleaning your towels. Alright? We had a long talk on Discord this morning. It was it was uh, stream after hours, okay? You guys are not cleaning your towels. So I would like to inform you of, of the rules, okay? After you have a shower, under ideal circumstances, towels are one use only, all right? If you use a towel after you get out of the shower, although you are clean after you got out of the shower, you cannot, like, under ideal circumstances, you cannot use that towel again later. Now, I will, I will allow and will concede that you can use it one more time after that. However, as long as you meet me halfway and say, yeah, that's not ideal, but you know, life happens. Maybe you can't do a lot of laundry. Maybe you, you hate doing laundry, whatever. It's not the worst thing in the world that you get two showers out of every towel. But any more than that, you're insane. Tell them about the pillowcase take. T this, that's not a, that's not a take. That's just good hygiene. All right. Ideal circumstances, you should be changing your pillowcase every day. All right. Now, if you if you are a clean sleeper, if you're showering before bed, if you don't like drool a lot or whatever, if you don't have any any hair, that sort of thing, then you know your life, your rules, your circumstances. But if you're like a typical person. You should probably be changing your pillowcase every single every single day. All right. At the very least, you should be flipping the pillow over. But I am a, a, a pillow flipper enjoyer myself. Like I flip my pillow over multiple times a night. So I I use both sides of the pillow. I eat the whole buffalo. All right. Like when I sleep, there's like pillows all over the place. If you have two pillows, maybe you could like cycle your pillows a little bit. Guess I'm great. You are gross. Yeah. Insane. What's insane about this? Do you have any idea how much bacteria and shit you're, you're spilling out all over your pillowcases that is just gonna fester there the whole 24 hours until you're back and going to sleep again? Like, you're, you're, you're nuts. You're nuts. Now, again, remember, don't, like, there are, there are, you know, stipulations here. If, if 
you are a very clean sleeper. Let's say you don't drool. You don't drool in your sleep. You don't toss and turn in your sleep. You, you have a shower before bed. You go to bed very clean. You know, that sort of thing. All right. I think you can get maybe a couple sleeps out of each pillowcase change. But I'm I like, after three nights, what are you doing? Three nights, you have to be like, like three is the maximum for, for your pillowcase. You should be changing your pillowcase every three nights. Oh no, bacteria. You you joke, but bacteria is like it's 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 insane. There are so many things on this planet that want to kill that want to kill you. You're a bit OCD. It's not OCD. It's not like oh I'm going to sleep and it's like oh it's dirty I can't stand it or whatever. It's just good hygiene. Like m my hair and my skin are much better if I change my pillowcase. It's, it's not like I have to do it. It's like if, if it doesn't happen, I'm like, I don't care. I'll go to sleep. It's fine. It, it's, it's, not, it's not like a compulsion. But under ideal circumstances, you should do it. Bad hygiene is good for you. Is it in your later years? I have heard that it, some, some amount of bad hygiene in your early years is good for you to help build your immune system. But maybe the, uh, maybe the jury's out on that one. But later on in life... Like, apparently if you're not exposed to many animals and pets when you're a kid, you can develop allergy. Or is it the opposite? I can't even remember now. I'm just talking on my ass. Which is clean, by the way. Can you play something else? This game is a slog. Right now we're playing chat. Joe, do you throw out, throw out towels? Like, I mean, eventually, yeah. How are you justifying using a towel after a shower more than twice, or even more than once under ideal circumstances? Like, you're gonna you're gonna dry off your nether regions, including you know, parts, and you're gonna put it back in the towel cupboard and been like, yeah, I'm gonna use that six more times. Like what? Towel cupboard? Whatever the hell- we have a towel cupboard. Towel cupboard, you hang it dry- no we don't! We- we don't use the towel again! You just- you just exfoliated a bunch of dead skin all over a, a towel with a mix of water that was seeped all over you and you're just gonna let that just sit and, and fester for like a day or two or let's let's face it three and you're gonna be like yeah i'm gonna use that again not ocd but no it's i don't have an issue with it like in terms of like ew gross or whatever it's just under ideal circumstances ideal circumstances you should be like yeah that should be one use only what if i shower three times a day Okay, if you're using the towel that close in proximity, maybe that's okay, actually. I don't know. You are such a germaphobe. I'm really not. I, I'm like, I'm tempted to take a picture of the room I'm in. <laughs> and my keyboard. I'm really not. <laughs> then why do so much laundry? Because we have six fucking kids! Sorry, we have six people living here. <laughs> Four kids, sorry. You you can either uh, think that I included the two dogs down here, or I just, you know, made me and Lily kids with them. So you have like 60 towels? No, you only have about 10 towels. No wonder The Witcher 3 is taking so- uh, uh, Fucking- uh, oh, oh my god, I'm entering a- how do- how can I relate this back to Witcher 3 video challenge and my opponent is chat. I'm- I'm fucking- uh, fucking destroyed. What do you mean? Thank you for the bits. Only 10 towels? I live alone with 8 towels? Maybe it's like- maybe we have more than that. I don't know. I've never counted the towels. I have my own little collection of towels because, um... 
some of the cotton towels uh, were irritating my skin a bit. So I have, I have like non-cotton towels, which actually help quite a bit. They're really thin. They're pretty cheap, but they work. Quite a soothing title screen. I agree, Chatter. I think so too. How many towels do you take on a trip? I have not been on a trip in my adult life. <laughs> What do you think this is? Yeah, let me go into the let me go into the backyard to the fucking like free time and money tree and just go on a trip. Yeah, okay. Uh, have you tried the latest Life is Strange game? If so, did you like it? We're we're playing that next week or whatever. This is fine. Can we just do this whole stream and not play the game? Yeah, sure. I need to call someone out too. Balder. Balder. I watched part of a clip back yesterday and you were in chat shining out like a fucking lighthouse saying, and I believe I quote, who the hell needs a plunger? Balder, this weekend, your homework assignment is you need to go and get a fucking plunger. My dude... You don't understand. B Boulder, a fucking plunger is something you need to have the first time you need one, all right? Like, you, you, there's no like, oh, I'll just get that when I need it. No, you need a fucking plunger, okay? And it's not like the, it's not epic shits that will clog the toilet. It's like, you know, in, in a time of, uh, you know, neglect, you might just overstuff it with toilet paper or tissue or whatever. Or maybe your kids decide to put, you know, un unroll the toilet paper from, from the wall, put like maybe, I don't know, five squares in it, and then flush the toilet and just see what happens. How fast can the toilet paper roll down with the water, Finn? You know, like, you need a plunger, all right? In EU, you don't? I don't believe you. In Europe, you don't need a plunger. Europe's a big place. I think in the UK, you need a plunger even more than you needed over here in Canada. I don't know what it is about, like, um, America is is even worse from what I remember. Like, you go into a, a bathroom in America, and you're going, maybe they've changed it now. You look down at the toilet, and it is like a fucking great lake that you have to, like, piss and shit in. Like, there is so much goddamn water in the bowl. It's it's like, it's just gigantic. It's like culture shock when you go into the, into the fucking toilet in, in America. In Canada, it's, it's a little bit more. In the UK, you go to the toilet and you're like, where's the rest of my water, please? It's, it's, it's like the suggestion of a puddle that's at the bottom of it. That's just like, you know, just like this little, like, like someone lifting their skirt in the 1920s to show a little bit of ankle. That's how much fucking water is in the toilet bowl in the UK. Like, you, you need a plunger in the UK more than anywhere else for that shit. Like, I don't, America's too far. America's insane for the amount of water you have in, in the fucking, in the fucking toilet, all right? But, you know, I don't know how it is in the rest of Europe. I don't remember the toilets in France. I've been to France, I've been to Spain. I don't remember the toilets in either of those. Everything is bigger in America. True. Yeah, it's pretty true. Do you need that much water? Isn't, doesn't America like pride themselves over having like a two gallon flush or whatever? It's something like that. Two gallon flush. Fucking America. Like something like that. Or is it a one gallon, one gallon flush? What's the average? Okay, let's, it's, there's gotta be stats on this, right? What is average amount of water flushed in toilet? Less than four liters per flush. Where's this? This is America? 1.4 gallons. The average household has about five flushes per day. <laughs> what? What, are you, what average household is this? All right. Okay. 
I'm I'm all for saving water chat, but if you have that 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 um that uh, I remember one one of my one of my mom's insane friends had this sign up in 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 her bathroom, and every time we visited her, I was like, yeah, fuck that. If if it, if it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, let it mellow. So that means that like th th translate fr from uh from hippie into real world speak. That means that um if you if it's pee, don't flush, and you only ever. Uh, only ever flush if it's if it's poop like that's insane that's that's like actually insane can you imagine just having like this this combined just like gathering of everyone in the house's like urine until someone comes along and it's like time to take a number two we finally get to flush that's like bonkers like honestly even even if you live alone that's insane right like if you live alone I guess if you live alone and you and you don't care, like maybe you could do like 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 every three visits you can flush. That this is weird. To, it's insane. It's not weird to you. Everyone's just like, everyone's just like communal pee. It's a fucking potluck. Like well, like what what the hell? Absolutely not. Surely you would flush before you sit down to to go right. Like. We are still stuck on anything to just not play the game, man. Do you do your dishes in the shower? No. Should I? The think of the time savings? People who live alone and shit at work would flush not a lot, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay, that's true. Yeah. But it says average household. About five flushes a day. I can't believe you guys are reusing towels. What are you doing? Will you play Persona 3 on release? Your Persona streams are the best. No, I'm not playing Persona 3 on release. No. It's going to be a while for Persona 3. I have a, I have a personal question to ask you, chat. All right? I, I was on uh, I was on the Reddit today, and there was a thread, and it was something like, um, it was something I think it was like what what celebrities, what cele beloved celebrities do you uh, no it wasn't that one it was a different one it was it was something like, uh, what what celebrity is is like secretly an asshole or changed or something like that it was something like that and someone said. Um, mostly youtubers youtubers they they start out fine and as soon as they get some success like it goes to their head and they change and they and they become really really distant and everything and i just want to ask am i still joey from the block or have, have i have i gone through a bad change are you asking if you, yeah i'm asking if i've changed like am, am i like like aloof and unapproachable now or am i still am i still genuine not big enough you were always an ass i'm not i'm the nicest person here <laughs> You talk to chat. What do you mean I talk to chat? Let's. This is all we've done. You're the nicest person in your house. True. True. You're just more of a dad. Some of you. Some of you need a father figure. To hell with Jordan Peterson and clean your room. Joseph Anderson. Wash your fucking towels. Thank you for the sub, Sony bro. Thank you very much. And brush your teeth, yeah. The Joe I knew would always save water. No, not really. I mean, I take quick showers. Dad is Andrew Tate a father figure? Unfortunately, for a lot of men out there, I think yes. Hey, Daddy, be my father figure, Daddy. I'm not being I, father figure does not mean daddy figure. Okay, those are two completely different things. <sighs> You've lost your innocence game-wise. You've been become desensitized to weeb shit. I think I have a little bit. However, I do have to say that if I'm desensitized a little bit, I think that's better than, like, I think I used to, like, hem and haw and sigh too much on stream. I was watching the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 thing back, 
and like I think the Persona 5 as well and the amount of times I go <sighs> just like I, I was playing it up a bit but I didn't realize how much I went into it so like I'm I'm happy with the compromise we have you know still audibly pissed off but not like hemming and fucking huffing all the time too what if I'm still doing that in Dangarampa hopefully not the sign was pretty funny yeah but when it's like when you see it back in the highlights and it comes at you so fast it can get a little annoying Bro, you do it all the time in dang around, but all three of them? God damn it. Do you have a fire extinguisher just in case there's fire too? Yeah, we have a fire extinguisher. Yeah. The house came with one and I replaced it because I knew it had expired. Yeah, we have a fire extinguisher. Do you keep it charged? What do you mean? Like, like the pressure gauge is on there. Like it's, it has to be plugged in. What do you mean? Fire extinguishers expire. Yeah, they expire. They can lose. They can lose pressure. You're supposed to. Have to oh, ho, ho, big news for some of you. <laughs> Let me tell you something else. Your fucking your smoke detector fucking uh, expires too. <laughs> Go check it. Also, while you're there, wash your goddamn towel. I do admit it. I don't own. Okay, Boulder. The shopping lists for the weekend, okay? Get a fire extinguisher, get a plunger, and get some better opinion. <laughs> Find something that you like more than Homestuck. There you go. That's your homework assignment for the for the weekend. Let's fucking play fucking Life is Strange. All right. Once upon a time, there were wolves. In a wild, wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. God, they just love this fucking wolf they thing. They all lived happily together, but... One day... Hunters took their dad away. Yeah, we know. Forever. Okay, then we so met now the brothers more were wolves. Alone. A whole and wolf they had pack. to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one... Was not an ordinary wolf. But a super wolf. And then they work together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. Oh, the dogs there. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. Wow. They were happy. Were they? But the little wolf got very sick. Very sick? Very sick. It was a cough. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, Even this is gonna take a while. The tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon. A raccoon? And together, they went on awesome adventures. Man. Unfortunately, Chris got robbed. Hunters were hot on their trail. Oh no. And found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and got badly hurt. More like dead. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. You know how many 
piss and shit is on your toothbrush, especially if it's in the same room? Do you change it daily too? What the, what the hell are you talking about? Piss and shit on the toothbrush. Our, 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 our toothbrushes are safely in the mirror cabinet where it's closed, all right? I do understand there is going to be some amount of contamination and kind of like some amount of buildup that's going to happen on a toothbrush. But that's just something you have to accept, all right? Like this is just like whatever. That's how it is. I'm not a germaphobe. It doesn't bother me. All right, like it's just you know like this part of living. You're breathing in. You're breathing in something bad for you at the moment. Like it's 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 impossible. I I'm really not. Yana germaphobe uses tall one. This is just like fucking normal. Oh, I'm a mature folk for not wearing underwear for more than one day too, and not wearing the same shirt two days in a row either. Oh, what a fucking germaphobe! Yes, you guys are gross. That's no. What do you mean it's normal? You like you just like wear the same under? You put the same pair on, on after a shower? You are too clean. Wait, wait, I'm not too clean. I have a shower. One shower. Most days. Some days I will skip. I'm like, you know what? I'm really not feeling it. I don't want to do... If I have really, really bad sleep and I wake up and I feel fucking awful, then I won't always have a shower every single day. But most days I have one shower in the morning. But if, if I don't have a shower, I still put a fresh pair of underwear on and change my shirt no matter what. No, seriously, ser seriously, chat, chat, chat. A lot of the things that we that we discussed are kind of like, you know what? It's fine. Like, if you really want to use a towel, it doesn't bother you. Whatever, using a towel more than once, you know, I can I can look the other way more than twice on your own head, be it. But for the love of God, for the love of God, do not wear the same pair of underwear more than one day in a row, please. For the love of God, if you take only one thing away for the past two days. Please let it be that. Do not wear- What do you mean why? Do not- Do not wear the same pair of underwear for longer than- For longer than 24 hours. Alright? Please. For the love of God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Alright. <sighs> <laughs> you're literally right not cleaning towels is a massive reason why you get acne the t the pillowcases too if you have any skin problems whatsoever if you have any issue with acne or any skin problems on on like your, your shoulders or or your neck or your face I i'm telling you just just as an experiment for like a week or two or three all right change your pillowcase every single day all right just try it all right or put like a towel clean over your pillowcase if you can't change your pillowcase and just swap out the towel that is also clean every single time okay just 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 try that for for uh, like a week or two or three it depends like when you see results and i promise you i promise you your acne will get better i promise you i have hormonal acne even if it's hormonal acne it should still improve i promise you What's cleaner? Shower, a bath, shower for sure. I wore the same pair of underwear for a whole week at Boy Scout summer camp. Okay, well, that, that's that's extenuating circumstances, you know. Like you probably only had that one pair, right? So you didn't, you know, you were just rocking what you had. It's not like you you came to Boy Scout summer camp with like a whole backpack or or suitcase full of fresh pair of underwear and you were like eh, i'm not doing that fuck that you know right where are we you're giving me better hygiene advice than my parents ever did fucking look look after look after your finger you know what let's let's just go for it let's just go for it all right here we go look after your fingernails all right i i 
had a really bad habit throughout my 20s, biting my fingernails. I don't do it anymore, all right? I kind of miss it, it's fun. I don't do it anymore. You gotta look after your fingernails, all right? Make sure there's no dirt in your fingernails. Get a nail file, all right? Fellas, fellas, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say some wild shit right now, and if you wanna just mask your shit in question marks in chat, it's fine. But I'm just gonna tell you right now. Fellas, it ain't gay to file your nails, okay? It's not gay to wash your ass, all right? You're in the shower, wash your ass, all right? Just, just get some fingers in that area, wash your ass, all right? File your nails, all right? You, you need to do this stuff. Someone has to tell you to do it, all right? Change your underwear. You, you gotta do this stuff. Use an enema, no, not like that. You don't have to like get in. Just like, well, if you want to, you can, but like, you, like it depends on how, what, <laughs> what's been happening to you, you know what I mean? But for the most part, just like, you know, like, Exfoliate. <laughs> oh, man. Also, when you brush your teeth, brush your tongue. Most of the stuff that comes from bad breath is actually coming from, like, your tongue. So, like, like actually get up, in, get up in the gums, wash it a little softly, but also brush your tongue. Brush the roof of your mouth, too. Like, like the, whole, the whole mouth. Like, brush your tongue. If you want to get good at pleasing people, brush as far back as you can, and every time that you brush with your with the with your tongue, see how far back you can get it. So we're home? Flashback? Oh man. Not a single F. Oh, it's supposed to be music here. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. Chat, they should put like if if they didn't have replacement music, they should put like a little note on the screen, maybe seeing like music is supposed to be playing right now, right? Like a subtitle, right? They really should have, right? Like, God damn. What? Because I don't even know if there's supposed to be music on playing right now. Oh, no way, you little shit. Uh oh. Daniel. Get your ass over here now! <sighs> He's so busted. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Why is use? Who's up for the reservoir dive tomorrow? Pass homework. Bullshit. He's going in his B day suit. I'll be waiting. How? There's a big fence. Jump. Jump it, track star. Wire cutters, just in case. I'll take a rain check. What is this dog with sunglasses? No way out, birthday boy. Answer the phone. No backing out. Looking ugh, kind of lame. Eh, it's not that bad of a Swipe picture. Swipe left. It's fine. Swipe left. You're you're on Tinder, bro. What? Swipe left is a Tinder thing, right? I've never partaken of the Tinder. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Yeah, it is? Okay. He looks so young here. Man, we suck at perspective. I should take a class. Uh, looks pretty good to me, it's fine. Alright, I'm not looking at everything. I don't care anymore. Furry. It does have furry vibes, I agree. Oh, he's hiding again. This is the thing that we do. Every episode has oh, hide and seek. No time for this. Do you allow me to watch Where your stream you? while showering? You don't need to ask permission for that. If you that's what you want to do, you go for it. Of course. 
Like, I want to play fucking hide and seek. Okay, you are though. Just go back to your room. Maybe he's invisible now? Oh man. No, just telekinetic. Dad got in trouble for his last barbecue. I hope he does it again. What do you mean? So I can come this time. What do you mean he got in trouble? How doth one get in trouble for a barbecue? It was too delicious? How often should one change sheets? I think I think you can change your bed sheets once a week. I think that's that's fine. It depends. Do you sweat a lot? If you sweat a lot, then you should change them more often. Question, question, is that is that not enough? You should change it more than that. What if you sleep naked? Uh, you probably want to change them more often if you sleep naked. I sleep naked too. Well, I, I wear underwear. I do it like four times a year. Four times a year? What? Once a year? What? Do you at least change it if you're if you're having someone come over who is going to be using the bed with you? Oh, what? I would have been pissed if I was there. Once let you know, I didn't appreciate you calling the cops on me and my friends last week. I know it was late, but it was Saturday and we weren't having a big party and you could have just asked me to turn the music down. Plus, we didn't leave those bottles in the gutter on purpose. Instead, you made a big show and got the cops involved. They hassled us for an hour. They even thought I stole one of my own cars. I'm glad my kids weren't home to see this. Try knocking next time, your neighbor. Mm. How late is it? How drunk you are? How rowdy you are? I would have been pissed if I was there. <sighs> Asshole. If your neighbors are having like a big rowdy drunken party and they're being loud as hell, I think that it could be okay, not I'm a good done. idea to go over and say, hey, can the you guys keep it down? Like, like that would be, that could be very bad. But if they're being like, you know, the music was loud, but no one was getting like drunk and rowdy, then yeah, it's fine. Answer the, well, answer what one? What one? I'm missing it. Sorry. Does sleeping naked not make you uncomfortable? No, I don't, I don't like I, I remember I have a sleep disorder. I move a lot in my sleep and get, having like clothes restricting me when I'm trying to sleep like pajamas can like get me like really annoyed and tangled and shit. So it's it's more of a it's a comfort thing to have uh, to not have pajamas on. Where is it? Do you let your dog sleep in your bed with you? No, we don't. Could be anywhere. How is that a sleep disorder? I no, I have a sleep disorder, and be, that ca that causes me to toss and turn a lot at night, and because of the tossing and turning, caused by the sleep disorder, I don't like to wear pajamas to bed. Sorry, Andrew. I'm the free babysitter now. Sleep naked. I sleep in boxers. That's it. Daniel is psyched, but I'd rather just go with Lila and the crew. That's not naked. I didn't say I slept naked. I started to say I was like, yeah, I sleep naked, and then immediately I added, oh, sorry, I also sleep with underwear on. That's it. Boxers, not briefs. Are we gonna have to have the boxer brief conversation? We we're. What are you wearing briefs for? What are you, like, 11? Like, does your mom still buy them for you? We, we fucking briefs. Boxer, boxer briefs are acceptable. Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Oh, this is Ow! real. That oh, he's getting yeah, in I'm a, not a fucking noogie. around anymore. Got it. Shampoo. Hit yourself. Oh, hit yourself for sure. It's a classic. Are you listening now? Stop hitting yourself. Thou Stop hitting not yourself. Enter thy brother's room. Uh oh. What the fuck? Nice job. You started it, butthole. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it. Enough. Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! 
Just goofing around. We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad. He's totally lying. You little enough. You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. Man. I didn't. These sort of interactions between your kids are, are so hard to manage because you just, you never know like, like what is the real story here? And I remember when I was a kid, when I was a kid, like sometimes my, my sister would start shit and it would just be obnoxious and it would just like, and my parents were around and it would just escalate and escalate. And then it would get, it would, it would end in like a fight or something like, like a shouting or whatever, or like a toy would get thrown or whatever like that. And then my parents would come in and they would just like immediately take like my sister's side for a lot of it. And the, I still feel angry about that. You know, it's like when I think about those memories, it's like, like, why, why won't you believe me? That sort of thing. So it's like, I, as a parent, you look at it and it's like, okay, well, you want to de, you want to deescalate and you want to like, you know, mend fences between the the kids, but at the same time, you also kind of need to figure out who is really the instigator here, who is who is uh, the one who is bad. Now, I I was bad as a kid too. It wasn't always my sister. Like there are times where I started it for sure. So you know, like, um, but. There were times where I got in trouble, I deserved it, you know, so it's hard to do that. A thing I'm struggling with right now is that the kids are learning how to lie. And um, sometimes they can lie very well. And other times it's like, you know, you start laying into them a little bit and you're like, hey, it's not good to lie. You know, why don't you tell the truth? You know, you're going to be in less trouble if you tell the truth than if you're lying. And then, you know, suddenly they'll tell the truth and my head goes, you know, well, are they actually telling the truth or is this just another lie? Because they're just telling me what I want to hear and they weren't originally lying. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's, it's really difficult to, to judge these sort of things. And you just kind of have to go with your intuition, you know, like, like what's, what's going on here. So I feel for the dad here, man. Do anything. Uh -huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid. It's bullshit. Okay. Joe's everything. I don't think so. You really taught that book a lesson. How how old is Sean here? You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like what's wrong with briefs? Really? I mean, if you're if you're comfortable in them and you think they look good on you, then then okay, continue with the briefs. But I don't know. <laughs> you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look, please. Listen, Sean. Confused? What are briefs? Briefs are um. Is, is Walta wearing them in the first episode of Breaking Bad when he comes out of the RV? Those are briefs, right? He's wearing tidy whities Those are briefs. So if you want to, to, to find it, like Google like like uh, Breaking Bad Walter White RV naked and he's he's just wearing briefs and you'll 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 see you'll see him in th those are briefs. I can't do this on my own. I I'm curious what you think of the one kid messes up so you punish them all approach. It's insane. Um, you know, that also happened to me as a kid. Absolute insanity. We don't do that. I can't. I need you to help me. Why not Google Briefs? Because you'll I get some show on Netflix me. that's yeah. called called Briefs you or whatever. Or you'll get briefcases or you'll get some freedom. court cases or whatever. Just like or like Google Briefs okay. underwear and you can get it. Sure. But but then We're you know you're not now. getting some you some meme. Some I've now pro I've now gotten to the point that where I'm just talking over the game. Shit. I don't give a shit. Like just a kid. Like I'm not even pausing anymore. You're We're just gonna talk over know. the game. He is actually naked. He's not naked. He's wearing briefs. Is he not? Or is the briefs the censorship or whatever? I don't know. Like, oh sorry. Uh, I know. I know that, and I do look out for him. Mm -hmm. I swear. But he's a little. Brad. Do you prefer high or low socks? I don't like wearing so socks at all, you. generally. I am wearing socks today because it's cold down here, but I prefer... Years of being Wait, what, what's... Sorry. What's a high sock? Like, up to my knee? Or, like, 
significantly like if I pull my socks up right now okay all the way all right so I'm pulling my sock up all the way right I've unrolled it it's all the way now the sock is like I don't know the top of my sock is about six inches um, away from my knee so is that a high sock or is that a low sock That's high. Okay, well that's the sock I'm wearing, but I never wear them that high. Like I, I just roll them down and they're around like, I don't know, maybe like two inches above my ankles. I just keep them rolled down. But usually I don't like, uh, I don't like wearing socks. I feel like they suffocate my, 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 uh, my feet a bit. What do you mean rolled down? Well, like they're kind of bunched up around around my ankle like okay if you if you pull your sock all the way up right and it's like completely it's completely up as far as it can go stretch out over your leg right well then if you if you grab the rim rim of the sock don't roll it just like just like just slide it down and it just bunches around your ankle like i just i just push it down you could also roll it i guess i said roll when i didn't really mean it do you sleep wearing socks no we already went over this I only sleep wearing wearing uh, underwear, which is boxes, by the way, not briefs. I'm not that kind of person. Before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good. What kind of sandals friend. you prefer? I'm not a part of that scene. He's a Diaz. Can't remember ever wearing right. sandals. I hear you. Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be. Super Do you girl. scrunch or fold toilet paper? Just Wipe standing or girl. sitting? Like you are now. Uh, I fold. I don't scrunch. Yes. Who the hell stands up? I'm late for work. Who? Who? Anyone we'll above? Like I don't know. Again, the age of eleven or twelve. We'll who's standing up? The house. When you're a kid, standing you up. Okay, that makes sense. Who's standing up? But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. I started standing up this year. What? For your right to party? Who? I can't. I can't believe. I always stand peeing and I'm a grown ass man. Excuse me, Redditor. We're not talking about peeing. We're talking about wiping your butt after you take a number two. Not, not peeing. What, th thank you for the info about a completely different thing that no one was talking about. Hey, there's a thread on Reddit that's like, hey, what what kind of, what band do you think is overrated? I'm going to go and I'm going to find all the bands that I like and I'm going to downvote the person that is saying they're overrated. Because that is the purpose of the thread. I am very intelligent. Hey, chat, what's better, hot dogs or burgers? I'm going to post french fries. What direction do you wipe forward like a chad? Do you wipe after peeing? Uh, generally not. No, I do the uh, the 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 deep uh, dark web shake. But if whatever reason I can't get it all off, then I uh, I do I do wipe. Yeah, I will do it. The what? The dark web shake. It's when it's when you. Okay, I can't. I can't. I'm gonna get banned. Like. You you grip the underside like the whole thing, all right, including you know the parts that squirrels would be interested in, all right, and you press up with like your middle and ring fingers, not like very hard, but you know firmly enough, so you are shaking the entire thing, and you get the rest out, and then after that you're probably fine, and you don't need to need to. What are you question marking? What do you mean? I don't want to be explicit. <laughs> Gotta keep PG thirteen. Can I 
come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! Just I get a bidet, no. dude? You, you bidet after you pee? What? Do you really? Bidet is for pee, too? There's no way. Yes? No? Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! Or was that an unrelated, I am just want to bring the, P the bidet conversation back up? <laughs> PG-13 knowledge is that, that, that dick and balls exist? Okay, then we can talk about it then. Alright, it's better... To grab the whole equipment, all right. If you include the balls when when you're shaking everything out, like you're gonna get more out. Okay, chat, 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 chat. All right. Maybe this is like an older person thing because I don't remember this happening in my twenties. Okay, as you get older, chat, and 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 you have a, a penis, all right. You're gonna you're gonna notice a higher frequency of time after you're done peeing when you step away from from you know the uh, from the toilet and you thought you were done and it turns out you know there was like a little drop that you didn't know wasn't out yet all right when you get older all right so as you get older you have to like be a little more thorough with with shaking it out. He pisses his pants shit. No, it's not pissing. It's just, you know... You know when you, you, you put gas in your car and you take the, the nozzle out and there's like a couple drips that go on, on the, the parking lot? And you're like, ah, oh, damn it. That's a, a waste of like five cents. You know? It's it, it's like that. Alright? Like, there's... there's <laughs> no, because the shit... Yeah! That's what I'm saying you have to do! But in my 20s, I only had to give it, you know, a little, you know, I've met you many times before. Let's give a little fucking shake. All right. But but now that I'm older, it's it's the dark web secret handshake now. All right. It like has to go on for a while. All right. Like instead of it being like a little like ba dum ba dum done. Now it's a little bit like the guitar solo from Through the Fire and the Flames. All right. Like it's. Where that came from? Creepy toy. Holy shit, that is creepy. Oh, you kept this guy. <laughs> we got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. <sighs> Leave me alone! Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Are we supposed to like shot? I think you are, and he's just not interesting is he he's not and don't touch my stuff he's not like offensive it's not like I, I dislike him he's just he's just boring by the way WTA I don't know what that is oh we're the assholes I about Bobby the yeti. do you pee in the shower of course <laughs> I do I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver I mean who does that everyone pees in the cool shower brother. ah He's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. No, you're just wasting See? time then. I'm not saying it. You're Bobby just wasting does. time. <laughs> Why are you still here? What about the bath? Oh, I mean, my shower is in my bath, but like I don't like no one uses it as a bath. I if I was in the bath, I wouldn't pee in my bath. Sean I'm gonna tell on you. I mean... Damn. Haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. Some of you poop in the showers. Thought No one poops in showers. Does this even work anymore? 
Not after you took care of it. Okay, you know what? Nope. I believe some people do poop in showers. Maybe they don't poop in their own showers, though. There are people out there, like, everyone has, in their time, gone into a public bathroom, looked into a cubicle, and just been like, how? Right? How? Well, those people must, like, go home at some point, right? And they must be the people that poop in the shower. So, like, I, I, I guess there must be some people that do it. So, like, but most people, 99% of people, 99.9% .9 of people, I mean, almost everyone has this experience, so maybe it's higher than 0.1% than of people that are just completely messed up when it comes to this sort of thing. But, but yeah, I guess people do do it. Battery? Duh. I can't hear you. Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. Love tuning into no while problem. eating lunch to hear talking so about no poop in the shower. Stuff. Sorry, bunny and boots. But you know how it's going to be. Okay, if I got a groove with chat. So, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself since you're not around as much hey, is this scene necessary come on. it's not like I'm leaving home you might as well I never see we don't even play games anymore we don't do anything Daniel I just I want to hang out with my friends sometimes you're gonna be doing the same thing in depending a on people years. pissing in pools all right so this is this is something that's really messed up and i learned about this from a youtube video i think it was a tom scott video or maybe it was uh veritasium i can't remember so apparently the smell that we all associate with swimming pools isn't actually the smell of chlorine that's that's the smell of of urea mixed with chlorine so there's there's urea in every pool now what what they didn't clarify though is is the issue is that that doesn't mean that everyone oh <laughs> fucking chaos these streams <laughs> gonna die. All right, there we go. Like, um, urea doesn't just come from, you know, peeing. Urea is also in your sweat. When, whenever you sweat, you're sweating out urea. So, like, the, the smell of people in the pool, they're gonna, people are going to sweat when they're in the pool. So, like, um, like it's, it's, it's people's sweat mixed with the chlorine that's making that smell. It's not necessarily pee, right? So, I think, uh, yeah, urea. Urea is uh, something that's in urine. That's where that's where the root of the word comes from, right? I sweat out. Piss. You don't sweat out piss. You sweat out urea. I sweat out with your. No, it's not. You don't sweat out urine. There is urea in your sweat, which is why you should clean your fucking towels and clean your fucking, um, fucking pillowcases and change your sheets once a week because you know you are that's, that's coming out of you man yeah but so like ever since that like public pools have become a lot grosser for me though i thought that smell was chlorine like when you smell a swimming pool and you're like oh yeah i can smell the chlorine it smells clean and now that i know actually that that isn't it it's the exact opposite actually but i guess you could still be like okay there you can still associate with oh that means there's chlorine in the pool doing its job counteracting all this stuff I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? Oh. That stupid watch? He did steal something. You said you'd get me one. At the thrift <laughs> store. Oh, God. Walter Stimivan 99. I'm not reading that out loud, but you just. <laughs> Last week, but I forgot. Like before. Well, 
You better keep this watch then. <laughs> wow! Thanks, Sean. This is so cool. I'll keep it forever and ever. <laughs> It took us an hour to get through this prologue scene. <laughs> Wait, was this the whole... Okay, the watch is important for the episode. Alright, cool. So we're gonna lose it or it's gonna break? Oh, great. We're going to be friends with them now. Awesome. Dude, why are you sleeping with your socks mm. on? Mm. Oh, he's looking older. He put up the picture of his dad on the tent wall. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk the, about fucking fate. The guys again? <sighs> he kind of looks like Blake a little bit from uh, the 100. Yep. I'm a real man now. Ooh. Kind of. <sighs> Do fingerless gloves have thumbs covered in your understanding? No, just like... Just like the color of the gloves is not necessarily associated uh, included in in the description of the gloves, the fact that the thumb parts are also cut out doesn't have to be in there too. Everyone knows what fingerless gloves are. Man, Beaver Creek feels so far away. Can you tell us about the areas you shave or don't shave? Almost again, not fair to Daniel, hate this. Little Wolf. <clears throat> we finally hit Northern California. How far away is that from Oregon? Do Oregon and California share a border? I don't know. Jumped off the train and walked forever, but we found a little town. We had a dumpster dive for food. What now? Look for any work. Met a weird guy who said we could get work on a local farm even if we don't have uh, any idea. Apparently they do share a border. Thanks, chat. I know why, but no choice. At least we found a shelter. The Comeback. People on the farm are cool. They don't ask questions. Grunt work won't get us to Puerto Lobos, though. Daniel likes the place. Good thing I can get. I can go to work on my own. Weird being without him 24/7. Miss your ch make your choice. Four. I miss Dad's barbecue ribs. Yard work. Clean porta potty. Move furniture. Hold deli sign. Inhales. Ah. Uh, Ten dollars to hold a deli sign. That's, like, nothing. Crazy how many missing person posters there are everywhere. What the fuck is wrong with this region? Missing adult. Name A. Age 45. Hair blue. Okay, please, if you see this person. Kim M. Re Why is this important? Burgers for Christmas Eve. First Xmas without dad. Eats... Like a little piggy, burger sauce, sesame seeds, meat juice stains, Xmas treat, Daniel's masterpiece, what have I become? Sucking one at a time, putting up fences, nailing shit, not bad, just boring. Happy New Year 2017, everyone's out partying, not us. Practice more. Seriously, he's pretty good. Got kicked off the ranch and the motherfucker only paid me half. What the fuck? He told me to call the police or get lost. Land of the fucking free, bitches. We're so gone. Land of the free. Daniel went to see the ocean, so we hitchhiked to Arcata. 
We got this now. Easy ride. Glad we could do this for free. And the water always makes me feel better. Daniel had fun. Hippie Ground Zero. Lots of weed and dancing. Yay, science. So they didn't meet them on the train, and it was later on they met them in a completely different train. Would vampires suck bloodshot eyes as mini cocktail sausages? Yes. What the fuck? We bumped into the, these hipster punks from the Xmas market. They actually work on a weed farm. No. Off the books. Well paid. Is it though? They invited us. Happy fucking New Year. Finn, Cassidy, Hannah, Penny, Dog. <sighs> I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Cassidy, she's so cool and different. From planet, zero fucks given. Sings like a pro, jokes funny as hell. Really? Daniel's not sure about her. Everybody loves him though, except Meryl and Big Joe. Life ain't all smirks and giggles. My arms hurt from work, but getting strong. Need more sleep. I think she likes me. Shit, that looks lethal. Shit, that looks lethal. It's fun to draw Hannah and Penny. They look like anti-fashion icons from Santa Fe and Detroit. I think Hannah hates my gut. She's older and thinks I'm a fake. Penny has a theory for everything. Paranoid much, but he makes me laugh. We had to clean the greenhouse today. Fun. Feels good to make money every day and save up. Met the new workers from Europe, Anders and Ingrid, or Ingrid, a cute couple, makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a long talk with Jacob, he's like a little kid. Who's Jacob? He's lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here. Free? Drugs? Meryl the owner, the goon. Had a few beers, Daniel's asleep. Same night every night, he wants to train more, but we don't have time, plus we gotta hide, it's not easy. Alright, well, I'm sure this is gonna be lots of fun. Did you say you were gonna skip side stuff? I don't think reading the journal is side stuff. Like, what has happened in the time between the episodes seems pretty important. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh. Hi, uh. Yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. All right, cool. All right. Thank you, Life is Strange, too. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. Was his name? Was it Bellamy, not Blake? Who? Who the hell is the the guy from the One Hundred? Oh, Still haven't finished that actually. Oh, his name's Bell. It's both Bellamy and Blake. That's oh, a Marvel name. All right. Oh, he has condoms. Glad somebody's getting some action. Yeah, probably with the girl that you like. So you know, is that going to be a problem? That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. The 100 gets shit post season 2. How far are you? I think I got to season... However many seasons there are, I was... I had three more to go. And I agree, it does get pretty... It gets worse after season 2, but I was still Most enjoying it as a kind of like a guilty pleasure. Coffee. I haven't seen it in like like years, I think, at this point. It's been a while since I watched an episode of the 100. It was alright though, it was just something to watch. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. You don't know what's inside? What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. Bzzz. Is the expense good? The expense is fantastic. One of my favorite shows. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Let's have a New Year's Day Sean. new hygiene. New Year's Day Snow new clothes, hygiene stream. Shit. New hygiene. Wake up, boy! Look up! You... saw them? When? How? How to clean your room. Shot. They Seen person of interest? I have not, no. That would be sick for me though. and Anders to lose the job. 
The cash is good for us to travel. Did you watch Fleabag? I've seen the first episode of Fleabag, and I thought it was fantastic, and I wanted to watch it with Lily, and then uh, we I didn't get around to it watching it with Lily. So I haven't seen any more, but the first episode was fantastic. I really liked it. I want to see more. Same here. Same here. Plus, this was a steady gig. Don't want to hit the road yet. Tanya won't either. Don't puss out if the narc show. Meryl takes care of his peeps. Yeah, he's a major dick. But fair. He always puts us to work every season. I haven't seen more of the good place now. Just season one and two. Job. Not the tourists here. Cush gig. Not when well, they legalize. How much, how much money do we have? Oh, wow. We have so much money. We're losing a bunch of that. That shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. Can't screw workers. Thugs can fuck off. Legal in Washington. It's legal in Washington. And it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere. Soon, anyway. Legal yep. but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom. I don't know. Things have to change. I mean, drugs oh, have to be controlled, um, dude. Like, you can't just, like, be like, Did hey. anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. Uh, I think you forgot something, Sean. Oh, what you I forgot. You make some more coffee, right? Oh, no. I I'm keep thinking you're Dutch. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Because uh, we... Sorry. Where from again? My bad. Yeah. Not your coffee, boy. We share. Always. Sweden. Malmö. You wouldn't what? hear about it. <laughs> a long fucking Shoot. way to work What's the day today? Is it the 15th? Yeah. Oh, well, it's Chris. It's funny how I like being out in the forest now. I actually feel free. This looks better than the forest in episode one. Okay, so they're just living out here in tents. They have a little community and they're growing stuff. All right. Seems kind of cozy. You saw the real shit. True. I will miss you. I hope this episode's exciting, chat, because I am pretty fucking checked out. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Uh oh. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. So Finn's evil, right? <laughs> Holy shit! That was dope. What's up, guys? Morning target practice. Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja. Hey. We didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey, seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Six bullseyes, really? Wow, Finn trained you well. Six bullseyes, dude? Yeah, I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean. Oh. Idea. I want to see oh, okay. if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? He can't do it. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Sean, hold your right arm. Okay. More like this. Better alignment. When do we have to do Better this right. later? He just sucks at this. Dude, what's wrong with you?
Okay, what was the button prompt? It said hold the steady L L L T to try and stabilize your aim. Okay, like there. Blam! Right between the fucking eyes. Yeah, screw you, Damn. Daniel. Damn! Oh. oh! Did you guys escape from some circus? Yeah. Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Uh -oh. Second time is skill. Uh oh. So let's see. <laughs> oh, fuck that! <laughs> Missed. See, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. Mad. <laughs> yeah. I'm what mad. What would I do without him? Hey, I'm mad. don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Okay. Wait! Sean, we are clearly losing any amount of, like, authority that we have over the budding telekinetic who just lost his dad. It's... It's time to go get some help, buddy. Don't go yet. Ah, uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. Man, he I loves know. everyone. Think that's funny? You think that shit is funny? What shit? Stop acting stupid. You're pushing it, Daniel. You made me miss in front of Finn. What if he finds out, huh? What then? I'm not stupid. He won't find out. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. So Stop pulling me that. Is it just the same I plot every episode? Daniel, don't. Why? See? Stop. Don't Daniel. use your powers, but now. you need to use your powers. What? Don't use your powers, but you need to Stop. use your powers. Daniel, don't run me! Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. <sighs> I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well... Because we need to fit in if we want to. Just tried your job. high level after okay. shake technique works wonders. Doesn't you're it right. though? Yeah, you're welcome. Let's um do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's Comparing this to Mob Psycho is disrespectful to this, right? It's disrespectful, but, life is strange. Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Porto Lobos. Remember? It's gonna take forever. You should try and find mom. Since we have her letter now. Yeah, let's go find mom. I said no again. We already had. Maybe she's psychic too. No, Sorry, I wanted Daniel. to be your mom, but it turns we out can't. I'm psychic. So they, you know, I've, I've know been kept Karen away from really you is. doing psychic things. And we can't risk getting caught or looking for her. I always cared, but I was too busy being she's a psychic. But now I can be a psychic for the here. right reasons. That's why. We're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I'm the adult. I gotta take care of you. Neither of these are good. Let's go with that one. I hear you. It's not fair. But you're my brother. My responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know. But I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. What's Finn's end game? Uh oh. Big Joe. Ask about the watch. Wait, what? What, we want it back? I don't understand. Let's ask about the watch. Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. Nah. I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Way oh. less weight. Huh? Yeah. Hey, oh. Daniel. Remember 
what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We're cool. Super cool. Do you think this game should have been more upfront about telling you about the fact you're playing one character but controlling two? Are we controlling two? Is that a spoiler? I don't think we're controlling two. It depends on what you mean by controlling, I guess. Um, no, I don't think it needs to be more upfront about it. I think it was the wrong decision, but I don't think it needs to be more upfront. Where are we supposed to be going? See him off, maybe? Check your right hand. Okay, hold on. Join the others at Big Joe's truck. Okay. What is the optimal order for toothbrush, floss, mouthwash, water pick? Uh, mouthwash is a complete waste of time. You shouldn't be doing that at all. For the other ones, I'm not really sure, actually. I would probably go brush and floss. Uh, water pick and floss is pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Mouthwash is great. Look, like recreationally, if you think mouthwash is great, then you go for it. But mouthwash is like literally a waste of time and money. It, it does absolutely nothing. Mind if I sit here? Mouthwash helps sure. with breath, though. Joe? No, it doesn't. Just brush your tongue. Or get a tongue scraper. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. Oh, Just nice movie. Thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? Ooh. This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Kinda is, though. I remember reading something that said mouthwash, like if you have absolutely no time to do anything, then maybe mouthwash is worth it, but that is the only instance. If you're brushing your teeth and flossing, mouthwash is like, not only does it do nothing for you, it's actually bad for you. I guess it depends on the mouthwash though. I, I can't remember now. Joe, I love you. This game and before the storm have been torture. I know, it's been really bad. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, die. just Bye. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's okay, but you're immediately washing one of these. Yeah, that's another thing too. You're not supposed to rinse your mouth after you brush your teeth. This is something I only learned recently. You're not supposed to do that. Like this year, I learned that. You, after I brush my teeth, I would usually rinse my mouth out with water. You're not supposed to do that. You're just supposed to let the toothpaste just stay on your teeth. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, you're 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 not supposed to to rinse your mouth afterward. The toothpaste is supposed to stay on your teeth. Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk. You're not awesome. listening to anything I say. So cut it Are you? Yeah. What? What? Please. Yes, I am. Yeah, me too. The party. Oh, shit. Ooh, too too much much bed. Bed. For how long? Just okay. as long as you can. Shut up. If you go to bed, it's gonna <laughs> be there all night. To bod these ones. I'll show you the battle oh, oh, so okay. He's Sean cool. He's a big boy. No way. You, you He's a big boy now. Why don't you get out okay. of his way? <laughs> Smart. Yeah, if you get too clingy, people run away. I don't know what I'm talking hey, about. Who's the night master on here? Yes. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for sure that evening. So, Wrong. how do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew what this is this conversation they're having next to us? <laughs> With us misfits. Like an outsider turning into a dirty hippie. <laughs> oh, great. Just hope I won't turn into a dirty hippie if I hang around too long. <laughs> you better stop talking to me then. I'm the most contagious. <laughs> Don't hurt. Too late. Guess I'll take the chance. Hey, 
I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Whoa, what's this guy's problem? Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. He can hear you, bro. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory of Silicon Valley. <sighs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. He's just a goon, guys. Bet he worked for some gang. Must have done something bad to end up here. Duh. Boring. Is Finn even sitting on anything? Oh yeah, no, there it's boring. there, okay. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. Can something happen, please? <laughs> Who are you? Hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. That looks so dangerous. Oh, there's the title. Episode 3, Wastelands. Let's just skip to episode 4. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is so... So boring. Me too. Let's try to go to bed early tonight. Yes. Stick around though. Please. Stick around. No wheat. Alright. Who's ready for another great day in the office? Shut up. Somebody doesn't want to be employed in the month. I'm so fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Whoa. Jeez. Don't hit her, bro. What are you doing? Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Now that I know my decisions don't really matter, I, I like every single time we can use the kid's powers, we're doing it. Every single time we can cause some shit, we're doing it. I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, w w this, we're gonna find something interesting. It's the whole point. In in Life is Strange One, you could use Max's powers whenever you wanted because you like it's baked into the rewind. No one's gonna know. In this game, it's like, oh, your kid has psychic powers. You can move shit, but don't do it though. Oh, here's this really cool gun you can use, but don't fire it. It's like, it's stupid. Hey, you're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a wet night. I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down. You're a bad moral example to the kids? True, yeah, it's pretty true. It's pretty true. Oh my god, Joe, they do have consequences. That's why you're losing control of Danny. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. We would be in the same situation no matter what. We, I have, I've been so conservative with him. What do you mean? All the things that we did was the only bad thing we did was that we stole a chocolate bar and I let him kill a cougar. And look, and like stealing a chocolate bar is like tiny little who gives a shit. We were hungry, and killing the cougar was the right decision in that in that situation. What do you mean? Let's just like let's just hope the cougar's scared and is gonna run away. Like no. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just. You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. Listen okay. up. Okay, why are I we need doing this? Two teams today: Finn, Penny, Anders, and what your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. 
This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. <laughs> what is this? Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. My Kid, dad's dead. Let me oh got him. Guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Yeah. Stop fucking around yeah. and getting your teams. All Can right. Can we play as this guy? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. What about what I do? Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls. How my brother fuck up? A pot farm and he's a fucking kid. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right, he's making some good points. You hear me? Got it, yeah. Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. Dead. You better. This business has enough shit already. <sighs> what kind of shit? None of your business. What kind what of shit? What kind of shit? Jesus. What is this, an interrogation? Yes. Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. Okay, time's up. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Don't ask all the questions. Why? What's the game going to do? G give me a game over? Thank you very much. That's the best that can happen. The worst can happen is that it just keeps going. There's no consequences. I don't care. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it. I'm miserable. All right, we good? Yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. Yeah. I told them they don't work late if they didn't finish on time. I, I love this guy. So. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? Blue eye bouncer. You know the drill. Yeah. No, we're we're, we're trimming, not drilling. What? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I know. I know. I hear you. But we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Hey, Wuggy. How 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 much time do you spend shaking after you pee? Like like a second, two or three? Like how? It's really important. I'm not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. Ooh. But I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. <laughs> All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. I hate it here, actually. Oh, man. Now this is gaming. Oh, it actually matters. Okay, it's not just in the circle. It has to be on like the the outline of it. Man, <sighs> look at all these buds. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring we were trimming about two or three pounds. And he was today. probably cackling Whoa. right now. That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. Why? Why is this so hard? Straight ones. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa. We are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. Um... <clears throat> Trimming is hard, is it? That's true. I've never tr trimmed any weed before.
Does it get faster the the as it gets toward it? Yeah. You get any reception, Big Joe? This place is a cell killer. Oh, of course. <laughs> I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. Oh no. Can we finish Ow. this first? Shit. Ooh. You okay, sweetie? Dude, I told you a thousand times. Focus. Trim the plant, not your hand. Okay. Jeez. Made Sorry, a mistake as we're, as, we're, as we're telling him. I didn't even know that was to him. I thought we were like, that was a choice of like what to do with our fucking mess over here. I feel bad now. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. We've been oh, here for like a minute. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Oh, okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. It's cool. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Exactly. We don't have any homework. Or teachers. Walder sure. does. Just Marilyn Big Joe. Whatever. Ugh, quiet. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to clean the scissors right away. Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. Shake it more what? than twice, you're just playing with it. What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> really makes you feel like you're working. If you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, Ugh. we get it. Over and over. Hey, you don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. Dream oh. bigger. Come on. Dream big. I'd like to see the pyramids, or the top of Mount Fuji. Sean Diaz, global traveler. Rachel Amber. Yeah. Stocking Humboldt. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. <laughs> this is no. my life. Uh, trimigrants? Shit. It's always something. All right. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Damn. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Well, as long as it's not in reverse. I bust my ass like Going too fast. Else. What? I hit the button. Uh, Take your time, dude. Even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, we ain't got no more job here. Hannah, why aren't you working? 
Okay, are we gonna get some, no. I hope some gunshots happen from that room right now. Like, come on. I'm just over this place. Then go! Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, or off the bus. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. I hit everybody you chill. Out of the wrong side of the tent or what? I hit everybody it's chill. Shit. You're clueless. Everybody chill? No? Okay. I guess I don't get dialogue. Alright. Fuck this shit. Y you're quit? Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Dude, they're just talking a little bit. What's your problem? Please don't go back to the cutting. Now this is ASMR. Are these games revenge for Steins Gate? Finally, someone said it. All right. Joke's over, everybody. Finally. Finally, someone realized it. All right, what are we going to do? Neon white? Neon white? Neon white? Neon white? Point everyone in a circle. Neon white? Neon white? What else should, what, what, what other thing that we could do? Okay. Is there supposed to be music right now? What do you, the scissors are gone. Invisible scissors. He's, he's telekinetic now too. My God, these are scissoring hands now. Play near replicant version 1.22474487139 dot dot dot. <laughs> Isn't that me, on the list? It's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down. I can bet your ass Yeek is better than this. No way. <laughs> Look these baby soft Man, hands. I wrote fuck off on my, on my pants. At least I didn't so cut cool. myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. I ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Family Clash. The girls are cool. Daniel Wind. Family Again. Clash. Love the Jerry Springer moment when Hannah and Cass started picking on each other. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other, then get high. <laughs> Short term memory loss. Man, are we gonna have a have a Sean loses his virginity to ca cast a uh, like montage, but be the music isn't there because it's gonna de get DMCA'd, so it's like hella fucking awkward. God, I hope so. Meryl was pissed. How was your day? Cast is a TV show. Let's go with that one. I think Cast around is like a TV show. She can't sit on her ass for more than an hour. Yeah, always been this way. Like these sharks that die if they stop moving. You know. I was the same at school. So glad we're out here now. Uh huh. No wonder she digs you. So do I. Gee. A good fit for the family. I wonder what the I game is trying to tell me right now. A job, cash, friends, safety. John, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. You're right. You did refill the coffee him, maker after you drank you your coffee, but I'm gonna need deep, three more uh, good deeds before I let you fuck me. He acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. Uh, he's also got a kick-ass hermano. Yeah. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So what's your story? So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of... Mm, missed it. Cassidy or Finn, I choose the bidet. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah. He'd 
steal, strip, and sell. I'm telling you, man, if, if the bidet, like, okay, so yesterday on Jazz, they were like, the bidet is actually just like, there's a bidet hose. It's, it goes on like a, like a hook next to the toilet. So you have to like snake the, the hose underneath the, the, under you after you're done and spray. And like, okay, that seems kind of awkward, especially considering, you know, the size of the toilet or whatever, but, but I can see that. But if it's like a standalone bidet and you have to like squat over it, like, like, if you've never used one before, that's, you know, trying to get to the light switch, you know, like, when the light's off, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know what's going to go on. Like, that that's something that, you, that's a learned technique, right? It's like, okay, like, where exactly is the, the spray going to come out? You need to, like, over several experiences, figure out where the, where the optimal placement and angle is, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you're at someone's house, you don't know their bidet. Like, you, like... It's like, it's like petting someone's dog where you're like, eh, is this a friendly dog? You know, like, you, you have to feel that out a little bit. And I just feel like it's not worth the investment. It is with a dog, you know, like, hey, does your dog bite? No, okay, we're gonna hang out with the dog. But, like, when it comes to someone else's bidet, like, yeah. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Two weeks. Why am I being patronized? Why have you all taken a... a Packed of like so true, Joe. You're right. Move on. When it comes to the standalone bidet, I don't understand. Or is it just like a, a gr so much agreement in chat? Got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify, <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Uh oh. Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. I'm done and coming back. No anyway, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling. Checking out. This is a VN. You could hold control and skip Damn, the bad part. Yes, old. you have to hit escape and go to skip unseen text well, first, though. Always remember to do that. Going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back, no, no, no. But you can stay with us. Oh, no, I forgot you to get talk. A traveling home, a new family, all that crap. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, huh? Finally. Almost done. Glad I can help. This looks like the water tank. No? So, Where's the water tank? How long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. Power generator. This is clearly it. Restock water for the kitchen and shower. Yeah, Alright, how? But I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. Is it, is it not this? Hey Daniel, offer to help. Need some help? Need two more hands, Dishmaster. No thanks. Almost done. I'll meet you at the lake for my training. Okay then. Oh. Gross. Oh, here we go. The danger with the hose one is that you can drop the hose into the poop water and the poop water can siphon back into the mains. So you have to have one-way one way valve on it, but if your landlord is dodgy like mine, they cut costs by not doing that. Eee. Eee. Let's get if, if you use the hose out. one, isn't it just gonna like drip back onto your hands or like and if you don't like what what are what, are the, what is the pressure on these things no it's all about the angle <laughs> think i made some good trims today and talking with the girls as always entertaining i have one of oh wuggy's a bidet enjoyer god damn it Get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green. 
A bidet is literally knee height sink. It's nothing special. They're they're talking about bidet hoses. All right. What do you mean, goddammit, bidets are based? What, based on unnecessary technology? I agree, Not Chatter. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Pennies Whoa. all over the place. He'll go anywhere. Is this a rain catcher? Or a rain collector? They have that in Asian countries, but didn't expect that in Finland. Apparently everyone in Finland has a home sauna. <sighs> Let's so, you know, Finland is just amazing. Everyone has a hose bidet. They only shake for more than two seconds. They have home saunas. But no pl- Wuggy, do you have a plunger in your bathroom? Now let's put this tank next to the kitchen. Whew. Uh, that's it. Finally. A plunger? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Chat, how many people, how many people in chat don't have a plunger in their bathroom? Or a plunger in the house? <laughs> are we, are we the community that uses the pin chat feature more than anyone else? Like, don't forget me. I'm gonna get an email from the Twitch CEO. What is your secret? Why you're the, yours is the only community yeah. that uses this feature. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa. Damn. Trimming yeah. socks. I like Hannah though. Ooh. Finland is country that? X. Ooh. I don't know. She's honest. Yeah, it's it's a made up country for for like Japan to have a, a tax write off, right? They're all warriors. Too honest. Yeah. Maybe too honest sometimes. I thought that was a good thing. Not when she just likes to fuck with people. Well, she's cool to me. This is nice. Sorry. Are we, are we all, are all of us checked out chat? Is anyone sitting here mad that we're not paying attention to the game? <laughs> just, just. Oh, we're doing the rock skipping again. All right. Oh, he's gotten good. Oh, he's gotten really good. Sweet. But can Sweet. you do it without your power? Dude. Oh yeah. Sweet. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. Onward. Whoa, what the, was the ready to rumble? The expression I am change so there. Ready. So ready. Team Howl first. Yep. Yep. Let's start with our team howl. Oh, oh. T S Lobos. Come on. Oh. We don't have time for that. Whoa. So let's go. I'm ready. Hold damn, up. Damn, damn, Sean. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. You remember the choice you made two episode, uh, episodes ago and became angry? Damn. You have to make perfect choices in this game to get any consequences. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. You make one bad choice, that's it, you're done. Hey. Can you move that tree trunk? Duh. Every single choice in this game is like is like thinking that Silent Hill 2 is just good, not great. That's all it takes. Alright, thank you. Oh, you've gotten good. Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on. I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Still salty. I'm not salty at all. It's everyone else that's salty, apparently. Okay. Let's have some fun. Law plebs, I have multiple plungers. The one that goes into the toilet won't get near my sink. <laughs> multiple hmm, plungers. Let's try this. I want you to focus 
on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, Lord of the Plunger. Close. Waiting, or maybe you. What the? Am I the asshole for getting mad at my wife for using the toilet plunger in our kitchen sink? Hey Reddit, thirty nine thirty nine M here. My twenty seven F wife came home from work the other day, and we had a problem with uh, the sink being clogged. Penny said it gets crazy. Water started overflowing in the kitchen. She panicked and ran upstairs and got yeah. the toilet plunger because she didn't That's realize that there was one in the in the cabinet under the sink. She nope. used this on our kitchen. I came downstairs and said, what the hell are you doing? Gotta admit, I freaked Hello? out. Things got a little heated. But I think that she should have known better, and I've specifically told her several times before that there is another plunger in, in, the, in the kitchen underneath the sink. I think that she should have thought through her actions and maybe realized that a little water in the kitchen isn't, isn't worth contaminating the whole entire sink. Also, she should have known better to call the sink to begin with. After I told her off, she left the house and went to her mother. She's not talking to me. All the family in it seems to think that I overreacted. Mm. I don't think I did. What do you think, Reddit? What do you think Arizona is like? Edit one. She's uh, also cheating on me. <laughs> Why? Tanya likes pine cones. Let's have a little fun with those. Pick a rock. Any rock. Okay. And let's test your aiming system. Do you change your nail file after every Target nail trim? No, I do not. Locked and loaded. Ooh, he's good. Awesome. Okay. You're good. Now do you think it was the wrong choice to not give the playable character Lindy powers? Off. It not necessarily. Just they made a lot of wrong choices, and you know that is one of them. I think, but they could have made it work. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? Is that all you got? <sighs> Should I make a burner account and write the plunder story? And L halfway through it. It's fake! It's fake! Oh, it's a fake story! Let's see what he can do with multiple targets now. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Spoilers, they're all fake. Wow, he's like lifting multiple things at once and controlling them separately. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's like controlling a central point and it's like swirling around it. 100 plus people in chat with no plungers. God damn. Only 5% of you. You guys need to get plungers, man. You need to get on that. Whoa, Daniel. That's a. That's amazing. Whom's the fuck are these 94 people without either a bidet or a plunger? Look, okay, Anu, bidets are not that common in 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 the West, all right? Like, uh, like seriously, seriously, no joke. I have never seen one. Never. I would use one for sure. I would like to. That was some next level shit, Daniel. I can do. Doesn't anything. the world have such wondrous plungers? Hey, there you go. I did don't it. Don't go crazy. Sorry, I paused. Sorry, my bad. Didn't tell anyone? So, didn't tell anyone? You didn't tell anyone, did you? No way. Why would I? Not even Finn? No. Jeez. You don't even trust me. Whatever. Sorry, I need to pee. We're at break. Be back in about uh, five minutes. I got two minutes of peeing. Well, one minute to get upstairs and then upstairs again. One minute to pee, two minutes of shaking, and then one minute to get back. All right.
All right, what I miss? All right, how's it going, Dragon's Den? Dragon's Den, are you better? Are you better than Twitch Chat? Dragon's Den, how many of you have plungers? How many? How many of you have fire extinguisher? If you bought everything you might need in an emergency, that's very unlikely to happen. Your house would look like that. Okay, needing a plunger is not an unlikely to happen emergency. Plunger is like one step below fire extinguisher. And both of those are one step below smoke alarm or fire alarm. Oh yeah, how often had you had the plunge? Honestly, since we moved to Moncton, I think only maybe, maybe three or four times. But in our last apartment, we had to plunge all the time because the, the pipe being was stuck there. We had to plunge all the time. Thoughts on unclogging a toilet with a brush? You can do it in a pinch. We call that the Dirty Mario. It's, uh, it's pretty hard. But, like, if you have to do it, you have to do it. Okay? Three or four times. That's, like, once a year. Guys, I have four children, two of which are young boys that just like to just like, oh, I'm just going to fill the toilet with tissue. Like, these aren't fucking magnum shits. Oh, I want some chocolate. In 20 plus years of my memory forming life, I've never needed a plunger. And the day that you need one, you will be happy that you have one. I can't believe this shit. Just don't get it. You you will re you will re regret your words and deeds. One day you're going to need a plunger and my voice will come to you and you will hear me laughing at you. Do you understand? Joe, did you come back from the bathroom with chocolate? That's a bit sus. It's, it's upstairs. I have a stash upstairs. You're going to need a plunger, and you're going to be staring at, at your bathroom just overflowing with water, and you're going to hear my voice in your head go, What? That's what's going to happen. You need a plunger, man. You need a plunger. But honestly, if it's a choice, if you can only listen to me once for whatever reason... Get the fire extinguisher. You need to have a fire extinguisher in your house. What are you doing? Do you own a fire extinguisher? Yeah, we've been through this. Yeah, I have a fire extinguisher. Of course I do. Have a fire extinguisher? We have like um we have a we have a storm kit. I have I have fifteen years of uh of freeze dried food in in a bug out bag just in kit no, I don't have that. <laughs> Have a hand crank radio that can also charge, um, act as a flashlight and charge a cell phone in case we lose power. I have one of those life straws that can drink from from any any source of water in case we we need to filtrate water in case the water goes out for a couple days. Got a smoke alarm. A flashlight? No, I do not have a flashlight. No. All right, let's continue. Okay, what was the context for this? Uh, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Danny. <laughs> you keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? Finn is a bad influence. Am I a bad big brother? Yes. Because I hang out with other people. You're always with them. That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Where is this coming don't from? Don't say that. You know... We didn't see any of this. 
This is coming out of nowhere. They really made a mistake here. Why did we have the flashback instead of it being like like showing Sean neglecting Daniel? It's always you and me and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. That was acted. You're being a brat. I can't say anything without you having a shit. No choice. Alright, is this the Daniel runs away episode? We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Okay, right? I've had my I've had my three squares of chocolate. I'm done. I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Oh, here comes the X-Wing. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! Behold my power. the end I got what? serious munchies Euro standard 997 this Dude, European standard specifies construction that. and performance requirements Another together minute. with testament okay it, it's gone yeah. apparently apparently people in Finland don't need plungers uh, I don't believe you Tired. Wuggy, I could Shit clog your nice. toilet. A long depth of leg ducks. I took both roads <laughs> everywhere. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm serious, man. Look. Are, fi are Finnish toilets like if like airplane toilets? To you like you throw the flush down and it's like yeah. like like if that's the case, okay, yeah, you don't need a plunger, all right? I, I concede. <laughs> Anyone else? The first time they ever went on a plane and they flush the toilet, get a little scared. I remember being a kid and flushing the toilet and being like, "Woo! What the hell? What, like, what the fuck was that? Like, it's just like, it's so aggressive." Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. I never <laughs> use an airplane toilet. I normally hold good it job, in. Ah, oh, based, based. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. That was cool. I love your voice. That was cool. That was cool, Cassidy. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Mm, yeah. Um, sure. Oh, no. I'll take a hit. <laughs> Turn around and then Daniel has sunglasses on and is immediately smoking. Just. <laughs> what? You're doing it. <laughs> Daniel, no fucking way. How come you can, but I can't? Because I said so. No, don't say that. That Tell is him. all for us. Because he's, we must cause he's little. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it? Like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Gonna Sleep act. tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's... Black flag. It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah. 
Something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and Black Flag. We got oh, caught no. stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. Had to run for it. We saw that train from afar yeah. and went straight Was your dog off a leash? Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. To Birger! Man. Uh. I miss Mushroom. That what was, was that for? Rescue dog. She didn't make it with us. Oh. Katie. Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Nah, it's Let's on point for the game. Let's everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's uh -oh. up? Uh-oh. Cool. Let's stop the violins. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend. Thanks. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust to no one before. We used to come here every now and then. Hook up on cash. But he disappeared. A few miles north from here. In a pot farm, just like this one. What do you guys think is the best kind of meat for sausage rolls? Pork or beef? Or chicken? I guess chicken is an option. Lily made some sausage rolls for um, for for Christmas, and they were really good. But I think most of the, the sausage rolls uh, were uh, that I've had in the past were beef, and she made these with pork, and they were still pretty good. But I wonder if the beef would be better. Pork is the only option. Do you think so? What the fuck okay. is a sausage roll? Sausage roll is a is a bunch of, of uh, minced meat in a, in like a, a, a round shaped pastry. They're pretty good. Half and half, half and half oh, might be right. good. Yeah. Bad beef, indeed. beef's too heavy. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. I feel like just the ones I've had before worse. were beef, and maybe not. Maybe they're a pork. Uh, Jake, please. Well, I'm not a big fan of pork. Just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is. What lean or non-lean? Def I think you definitely yeah, want to go with a lean meat for uh, for your sausage, oh, yeah. for your sausage roll. Maybe not for your actual sausage. Maybe you want uh, a bit more in fat in it, yeah. Nevada. Did you have Greg's in the UK? Small so they were pork. Yeah, we had Greg's in the UK. Yeah, I remember yeah, going to Greg's a lot. They were pork, were they really? Perfect. Okay, then then I, I most of them would have been pork that I've had then. Okay, I thought it was beef. Intense. I'm sure the ones that we got like in a like a like a box and they're frozen. I think you put them in the air fryer. I think those are beef. Kind of escalated. People I miss said Greg. I was Greg's was so good. Couldn't get the answers I was looking for, even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe. You anymore. sound like someone who owns an air so fryer, right? On. Yeah, it's true. Because I do own an air fryer. Needed to be alone for a while, you know. Do you have a favorite game that revolves around sausage rolls? Not anymore. I'm still looking my yeah, favorite puzzle myself. game has ended with Steven Sausage Maybe Roll. Now Baba is You cool. is my favorite puzzle I'm game. I found you guys. Unless Variant Sudoku counts, but that's Variant Sudoku is not a video game, so yeah. Thoughts on Greg's Steak Bake? I have never partaken of the Steak Bake, but I would definitely try it if I ever had the chance. Haven't been back to the UK in like a while. Huh? Do you have a rice cooker? We do have a rice cooker, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry. It's my cross to bear. They say. Who are you? What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, Did you play any arcade games uh, growing up? I played the Simpsons beat 'em up game quite a bit I in the arcade. Sounds. There's a couple of games I've, I played some years. Street Fighter, some I think some Mortal Kombat or some Virtual Fighter, what some some you, fighting Sean? games yeah, in the arcade, but no, we didn't go to the arcade a lot. Shit show back in Seattle. Uh some of the the gun cabinets, like House of Did the Dead and stuff else? and um uh wasn't there one about like time travel or something? How I can't remember. About me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only how'd you like your steak? Medium. Memory, but time Crisis. That's it. Yeah, I played Time Crisis. Those are pretty fun. 
house I feel like of the dead. I've let everyone down. Like Noah and Lila from Seattle. And there's our dog, Mushroom, who was killed by a puma. So we had to bury her. Cougar. Then but I, killed I the lost cougar. Chris because we had to run away again. He got. Have they said whether Chris lives or not? No, but he's I don't there even for sure. Know if he's already. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my Who? dad. Oh. Jesus, little man. That's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. Name a character in fiction down. who has suffered more than Daniel. So much yeah. that my voice cracked when I said Life it there. Is a bitch. We can only go with the flow. Like, uh. Rachel Amber. The Rachel Rachel. Amber? Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Bull fucking. Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't fuck <coughs> me, no. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, This Prophet? is the future. Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house. What temperature do you cook your poultry to? Uh, I don't know offhand. I... Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. And he, somewhere between 375 and 450, something like that. Maybe, I want to say 425. Up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and, and sing. And That's if it's a whole bird. Drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Fahrenheit, use it. unfortunately, That's yeah, it's, it's Fahrenheit up here. And coconuts. <laughs> oh, uh, Canada is not as metric as they would like you? you to think. This sounds like my folks retired. Do you eat the same thing for breakfast Florida. every day? No, I usually don't, I don't really need eat breakfast. Else. I'm not a big eater. Sure. We're it's it's a problem for me sometimes. Actually, right I can now, go I can go like 24 hours without eating want? like so easily. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend. Property. Land. Family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Weird flex book. It's not a flex, it's um, a problem. Coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And yeah, and he goes down. Over. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Here's in. <laughs> oh, twist my arm. Uh, teeny tiny drink. And we need How'd you to like talk your eggs? about Sean's um, hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Sunny oh, side hell, up. Yes, he does. Or over <laughs> easy. Now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey, I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? I was. I had a. I had an alien NPC moment uh, recently when um, when uh, I uh, I was at Burger King no, and I was uh, ordering some homestyle breakfasts for you for the family. Want me to walk um, back and oh. so I I asked for that and I, I said no like has some eggs and here. they uh, she was like how do you like your eggs and sweet I was tight, like Daniel. I don't sweet know and <laughs> she's like just looking at me no, I'm like how do people usually like, like them yeah. over easy and she's so, like yeah I'm like okay that please that I just I yeah. usually I know let's the answer not. but I forgot I, for some reason I was like just completely Sean, mind blank maybe you haven't noticed but we have standards here fine whatever cut me up Atta boy. That's what I like to hear. Here we go. Haircut time. <laughs> I don't I'm not paying attention to the game or Joe at this point. Don't you know why I'm here? What do you mean? Why are you not paying attention to me? Stylist. Don't look at me, boy. I only cut weed. Um, uh, that means... Why, hello, laddie! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to McNam Hero Salon. Check, please. Yeah? <laughs> uh, 
Step right up. Uh, hey, hey, no stress. You're Skip part of the stream. Did the game get slightly better? Just nope. Relax. Enjoy the buzz. Right. Now let's see. Hey, hands off now. Anyone else enjoy getting like their hair buzz cut? Like the feeling of the of the. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Down. Like the razor hey, on the back of your neck or whatever. It's like, Stop! I said, don't worry, Cassidy. Stop fooling around. <laughs> Ha ha ha. Stand fucking straight. Nice. Looking good, Slick. Seriously. Aye. We don't fuck around at McNam Hair Salon. Mmm. <laughs> bit more here. Yes, that's good. Can I move? Almost. Well, I can't done. even move the camera. Voila. What's the verdict? Thoughts on the characters in this episode? I hate all Hi. of them. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Can I see now? As ugly as y'all. Whoa. There goes my job at Wall Street. I'm as ugly as you are. Love it. My pleasure. Really. Careful, Sean. <laughs> People are gonna think you're one of us. <laughs> Don't think so, Cass. <laughs> Looks don't mean nothing. Lucky for you. Here. You deserve it. I don't know. I'm already kind of trashed. Plus, Just I might be fuck hosting my tonight. shit up, fam. Uh, Finn? I don't know. <laughs> Someone said in chat. Maybe. I love that. Well, just in case. <laughs> Can y'all let me get some rest tonight? <laughs> Sean won't be able to sleep either. Ooh. Don't stay in the same tent? How long together? Don't stay in the same nah, tent? Nah, I sleep like a lot. So, how come you two don't, um, share a tent? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? You? That look on your face? Hilarious. Yeah, uh, Hands and I aren't together, sweetheart. We're just fuck buddies. Oh, oh. We're pretty open right. here. Duh. Fuck who you wanna fuck. The end. Or don't. Nobody has to do anything if they're not into it. Yeah. We're not into the whole fucked up system. Yeah. We make our own rules. Yeah, fuck the system. You feel us, Sean? Or do we sound like depraved punks to you? Pretty depraved. Totally hear you. Feels feels different. Nah, it just feels different. I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this, so... Can't really say anything about it. Yet. Legit, dude. It took us time, too, you know? Like, I didn't change my views on politics, life, or sexuality in a blink. It takes a whole fucking reconstruction. So, would you consider yourself bi or. horny? Or. <laughs> I see people, not gender. It's all good. Long as I get some. Looks like Sean is a little curious. Not sheriff sure based? So, what about you? Not into dating. More into girls. Some boys are cute. Had many girlfriends. I had so many girlfriends, so. I guess it's a done deal. I like girls. <laughs> okay, Mr. Player. You know what you want. Cool. Didn't think you were. Such a womanizer. Oh, you kidding? A cute guy like him? Okay, lovebirds, that's it for me. A lot of work tomorrow. So many. Plus, it's payday. So many. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Sean said as many girlfriends as, as night, Boulder everybody. has plungers. The haircut. And the cool talk. Yep. You gonna swing by, Finn? Of course, sweetie. I'm always swinging. Cool. Buenas noches, Sean. Loving on the hair. Meow. Role playing as yourself. I I have four kids. You think that's an own? Lamayo got him. Sean, what are you doing? Fuck. 
fuck me. Oh no. No. No one can wake him up? Guess it's not yeah. it's part of the rules. Sean! 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 Quiet down back there! Alright. Oh! There's supposed to be music here! I'm waking up! I'm looking down! Uh, I don't know the rest of the words. I'm breathing in the chemicals. <sighs> it's a good song. It's a good song. This is so awkward. What are you going to lose your head? Oh, there we go. Why is it silent? Because we have uh, copyright music turned off and they didn't have any supplementation for it. Was the music con supposed to continue? I'm waking up. <laughs> Whoa! What's the deal with the cutting of the wheat? Yeah, let's let's talk. Yeah, what's going on here? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Good point. We could be doing it better. Better scissors, you say? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Is this still better than before the storm? I think so, yeah. At least it has a story, although it's it's really testing me this episode. Episode two, I was like, okay, okay. yeah, it's definitely better. But like now, this I'm like, boring. god damn. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> Like, well, it, did they even have a story in mind now. when they thought of this? They just thought of the characters and were just like, eh, whatever, and then we'll just figure it out? Or, or some hookers or cocaine. Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm. Well, you hate it for so I did, and I hate this too. This is so boring. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger. I don't think you could make something this boring, then like, on purpose. Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Very slow burn, but it's not, nothing's burning. It's not building up to anything. Save it all, new toothbrush. Maybe a new toothbrush for me and Daniel. Yeah. Balder, do you have a I toothbrush? Know you guys dig our morning breath. No. No, we all think it's really hot, actually. Oh, nice, thanks. Oh, that's it, huh? I've got two, like one for the top teeth, one for the bottom teeth. He's pretty based. Your ass all week for nothing. Some of us just got Do you dual wield? Needs, princess. Yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? <laughs> Why does everyone want to fuck Sean? Main character syndrome. <laughs> okay. I'll be honest, Let's I was this close to drop with. the game at the middle of the fourth episode. It got better. I can't Finn. promise you have the same experience. So yes. The fourth episode? We have a whole ass episode to get to that. Sean and uh, you. Jake. 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 Yeah. yeah, who is this guy? No one's getting paid. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know. We have to keep Whoa, a low shit. profile. 
Got it. Sean, you're being kind of a dick. Time. Just Again, why do my choices why do my choices matter when he's just when there are no choices, he's just gonna just sabotage the whole thing. Wait here for a few minutes and don't do anything. Nothing. Jeez. Yeah, he's gone. I heard you for the millionth time. I hope so. Okay. We'll be right back. Not gonna lie, this episode has my favorite ending. I think you'll like it. Does everyone die? And for it turns out there's only three time. episodes? Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Could you sum up the game for people right now who are just tuning in? Yes, I can. There are two brothers, Sean and Daniel. Uh, one day, Daniel, Sean gets into a fight with a neighbor outside and, and hurts him. A cop uh, just happens to be there, and because of the kerfuffle that happens, shoots their dad. After that, they go out on the run. That's it. Th that's all that has happened. Oh, the kid is, has, is, is telekinetic, but that doesn't matter. He can move things with his mind. That's it. That's all you have to know. You, you are caught up. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day. But you cleaned up. You're all right. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. Yeah, Cassidy. Bet he did. Pull your socks Look, up, love. You can bitch all you want as long what as you, you work. Otherwise... You're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Trims are great. Very nice trim. Yeah. Good work, kid. Would they really ben, be judging the, the, the trims? The greenhouse and our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Uh, Don't uh... move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, it wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let him go! Shh. He's I told you. He's Come just on, a Meryl. kid. He's a kid, not a thief. You want to frisk him? <sighs> Look at him. He's just following his big brother. All right. Your brother needs a lesson. Uh-oh. You all need a lesson. So first off, here are the no rules. Payday. Uh Fuck that. Prayers right. at bedtime. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Yeah, his terms are great. Never you even said. Never losers, right? Sir. Quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean. I warned you, one too many times. It's true, he did, not the asshole. tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Okay. Let me go! Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <gasps> What the hell? One of us is psychic. Who is okay. it? Okay, who did that? Uh, <laughs> that that's his reaction? This is so calm. What? All right, okay. I know we're all having a rough day right now, but all right. Which one of you did I'm I'm not mad. I just want to know who did it. Who did that? We're all trying to find out who did this. I did. Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Okay. That could have gone better. Whoa. Oh, so we're just doing this all the time now. 
Great. All right. So now we're going to... All right. So we're going to do the smart thing now, right? And we're all going to agree to, like, raise the kid as a baseball player, right? Like, and we're just going to, like, he's going to be a pitcher, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to... And we're just... And we're all going to be rich. Right? Let's do it. Well, that's it. Believe it or not. Told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn. I would be scared shitless. We're careful. We're careful. I'm always here. In case anything happens. No, and I not. practice every day. Man. So, Sean. Maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Dealing with Daniel. Yeah. Dealing with Daniel. Yeah. Do, 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 do. do you have any idea where it comes from? Who the fuck are you? I mean, it can't be random. Wait, what happened? How did we get out of the house? What? He's a reptilian. Doesn't matter. Started in Seattle. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. This is a dream scene, right? Fuck, I don't know. But... Read the notebook. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Agent 420, give me hot dogs. Got a new haircut. Damn, I messed up again. Gotta fix this shit. So tired of running away. Ah, uh, fucking woo. I'm a swear wolf. Okay, that's it? That's it? I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn. You're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself. Seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. What more do you want? Uh, apparently, like, like Daniel was about to lose a goddamn finger, and then, like, he tele telekinetic hit the ashtray, and then we take the blame for it, he punches us, and what, and what, the, the guy was like, okay, I guess that's it, you can go now, like, no, something else had to happen after that, and I'm guessing it has something to do with Daniel, like, letting the, the Hulk out, and, like, knocking the guy off of him, so did they just take all the money and leave? Like, I don't understand what happened here. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. As yeah, much as Daniel's the most important. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. But we're hippies. Come we on. believe in cosmic bullshit. That's true. That we do. You, yep. That's true. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. When does Jacob die? Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. Jacob's evil for sure. And we never saw- OH IT'S right. RACHEL AMBER! It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. For real. For real, for real. Ah, uh, hold up. Chat, what is the cringiest Undertale you know, tattoo I could get? There's a lot of money around here. Oh no. Toriel's what the face? What fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. Sans? In the back of the room. Okay, I agree. Sans is pretty cringe for a tattoo. But I think you could get way cringier than Sans. Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. <sighs> Getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. <sighs> How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. I and agree with you. Ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I 
didn't think Jog about that. boy across your chest. Is jog boy an undertale thing? Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I All was right. just so just kidding. Having a brain fart. I was just joshing. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. All right, Finny. Cool. Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap. Okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. <sighs> Damn. Cass is growing me a little I'm bit. Drink the crap out of this party. <laughs> okay, never mind. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. Wait, you guys do your own tattoos? What? Are you getting a tattoo? Yep, of do Sans from Undertale I dabbing. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. No, hipsters get tattoos. Th that's dumb. Okay. I know I shouldn't have Silent Hill 2 or this game? Silent Hill 2 all the way. Silent Hill 2 is it's fine. It's good. So what? It's my power, not yours. I trust them. I know, but what if anyone gets scared? And calls the cops. What's the cringiest Life of Strange tattoo I could get? Yeah, maybe. We'll a Polaroid of like that. Rachel Amber. <sighs> At least we won't have to worry about any of this once we're in Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. Hella, I should get every single one of our chat emotes tattooed on my forearm. Okay. In like a spiral. Me. Better on the Fibonacci party. sequence. Shit. Have a drink with Finn. Talk to Cassie about the tattoo. Are we really All right. Getting kicked out of this place. Yeah, we, we are. Don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> have a beer. <laughs> to our last night together. It's always and the same to beer. Your next adventure. Will you laser them off when you cycle them out? Yeah, of course. Some of them all will be like, um, you need special glasses to see them, so, and I'll charge people ten dollars to wear the glasses. <laughs> and even more special ones do. Me and need the twenty-five dollar glasses. Again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> They still are. <sighs> Stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I beer just is said, fucking gross. True. Although I hear that took off. If you think beer is gross, it, you man. just had gross no beer. Family, like there's probably a beer out there that you would like. Me. Always trying to find a new daddy or new bros. Wait, what? Stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all from my guys. One K is nowhere near to go to Mexico. No, it is. They uh they took a, a Greyhound bus uh across like from like like one city to a whole other city like hours and hours for like five dollars a ticket. Like this is more than enough. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you're starting all over. And now cocktail of choice. I don't think I've ever had a cocktail. Gotta take the next step to build a something. When I drink, which is exceedingly right. rare, I have a uh, uh, Jack and Coke. Coke and whiskey. Build what? Build what? Build what? The wall. Daniel's acting like such a punk. He doesn't want to listen to me. <laughs> I'm like a parent now. True. But he's still a kid. So clean up after yourself. Favorite. What are you doing? You can't stop it. Just accept it. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit. After all this, you deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. 
Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted. Like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style. With a, a nest egg. <laughs> but you don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this, if I had any doubt. Are you positive we can do this without getting busted? Absolutely. Candy from a baby. Mm. Okay. Fuck it. We're in. Yes! Fucking A! You are the man! Say hola to Puerto Lobos. So... What's the plan? It's a bit too early. Go, enjoy your evening, say goodbyes and stuff, talk to Daniel, and come get me when you're ready. Deal. And Sean? Talk to Cass. Even if she disapproves this, it's still your last night together. You should enjoy it. Hell yeah, bro. How did we get out of the building? Okay. Time to make these bastards pay for three weeks of shitting on me and Daniel. I've got Daniel and Finn. Hey. Everything okay? Diaz, my favorite punk model. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting. Or... Or Don't Finn's worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sis. Is this game before the storm worse? I don't know. I'm starting to think this What's might be worse. On? Don't worry about that. Rachel Amber Super was a little cool. interesting, I guess, and like Chloe was all right. You know, it's like seeing some of her backstory, which was kind of annoying. I don't know. I'm starting to think this is getting worse. This is really I'm bad. So bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. I'm are so you still bored. Going to Mexico? Yeah. At least but it's bad in a different way. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. Did you really hate Steins Gate more than most? Excuse me. Sorry, I saw Steins Gate started yawning. Uh, more than this game. Yeah, Steins Gate was boring as fuck too. Tell Finn. Leave by yourself. Come, tell Finn. Just tell Finn. He can get high anywhere. Damn. He'll listen to you. Oh, yeah. He'll listen, then ignore me. If we're a family, Finn likes to be the big daddy. And Hannah will tell me to fuck off. It sucks. But yeah, well, now you're free. You and Daniel are the real rebels. Why don't you come with <laughs> Whoa, us? Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. In One thing I learned five. traveling is how small the world is. We are what? twice. Why not more? The world is Even huge, dude. If we don't, like, it's huge. We'll be fucking cool memories in each other's minds. You've seen like less a percentage <laughs> yeah. of it. Maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is to have sex with them. A tattoo. <laughs> oh, that's who. Yeah. Wait. Are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Cassidy was here. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> yep. There you go. Not a good idea. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's. Let's do it. Really? Yes. Yes. Here comes your street cred. Here. Tattoo one of my. What's your favorite game? Furry wolf. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um, Furry wolf heads, guys. Here I'm you go. Trying. Here's my journal. I'm joking. It'll be super cool. I swear. So, what do you want? Think hard. Um, a wolf thingy? But not too cringe, okay? Boy, you won't be disappointed. Here's to your first tattoo, Sean Diaz. All right. Put your arm over here. You okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god. Hey, oh my oh my god, don't why? Move, oh sweetie. my god. But it fucking hurts. <laughs> what did you think this was? 
doodling on your arm with a pen. This is going to be worry. like... You won't feel the pain. Eventually. Better? Mm. Crooked ass mm -hmm. lines. <laughs> My poor city boy. It's going to look like that, that when that sure woman repainted that now. mural of Jesus in that church. <laughs> but a wolf. <laughs> Where did you get your tattoos? Where did you get your tattoos? <laughs> Shit. Lots of places, dude. I get new ones all the time. Often when I'm bored or drunk. Do they mean something? Do they all mean something? Nah, I just got them from people I met. Friends. Yeah, lovers. we just do it. You can <laughs> give me a tattoo after this That's too. That's what I care about. <laughs> Whoa. You're like a living canvas or something. Exactly. That's what I like about tattoos. It gives me a piece of everything I want to remember. It feels good. Like Especially when you can't help leaving stuff behind. It does sound good, Cass. I get it. It does sound good. Yeah. Where's Daniel? Oh, he's there. Okay. And... I'm done. Oh, that's... What do you think? <laughs> it's so bad. It looks good. No, it doesn't. Thanks a lot. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It's fucking awful. This will keep it warm for the night. <laughs> You'll need to buy a healing balm when you can. Hers are pretty good. What the? <laughs> hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Me too. Come they, with me. They can't. You have to keep your tattoo wrapped. That was cool. Hope I don't look like a clown. I actually kind of get why they all wear tattoos. Hey. Feels like you belong. All right, let's go see Cassidy. Get this tattoo or no ball? I have no balls. There's no way. There's no way. Life is Strange 2 is my favorite game, so I got the tattoo Sean gets of the wolf. What do you think of it, Reddit? My and Sean Daniels wolf's tattoo still healing. Okay, that's the tattoo from the loading. Oh my god, someone... <laughs> Now I can keep Sean with me forever. Life is strange. I love it. I'd rock that tat and be proud. Dude, that's hella cool. Who did that? <laughs> I mean, I love Cassidy, but that is a terrible tattoo of a wolf. 37 upvotes. Oh my god. Someone's like in chat. There you go. Could you imagine taking that design to a tattoo artist and being like, please, I want this. And they're like, okay, but you're going to have to sign a form before I do it. <laughs> oh, shit. Sean!
Uh-oh. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Oh, fuck. Fuck! <laughs> I'm making yes, such a face right now. I'm in! What are you waiting for? Oh! Fuck this. I just got it's a- freezing. I just got a tattoo, it's I can't come in. Head. Just don't think about it. <laughs> uh, sure. Don't think. Coming. <sighs> okay, here I come. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get over it. Hurry up. There you go. Bring it home. <laughs> hey, you gotta take it all off. No cheating. Oh, man. This is the most tension oh, of the game shit, so far. Shit. My, my balls. <sighs> my fireballs. Cassidy, do not even. You are so adorable. Yeah, I know. Not bad, Diaz. Didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> My body just had to get used to it. Not that cold. That's because I had to pee. Ha, ha, ha. So, what are you going to do about Finn and, you know, his plan? I'm going to help. I talked to him. Whoa, the yeah, light change! Alright, sex is off. I'm going to do it. What? Are you shitting me? Don't freak out. We can do this. Um, easy peasy. Easy peasy? What about Daniel? Is this how you fucking protect him? We can take care of ourselves. Trust me. You know what? I'm done Wait. with Wait! Sean, don't get all mad. Come on. Just listen. I heard your bullshit. You and Finn are so fucking dumb. Nah, it's gonna be fine. Shit. Flashlight! Great. Oh, now we're never gonna know. Should have lied. Actually, could we have said we're not There's going and then partner. not gone? We've been looking all over for your ass. You ready? Did you take a cold shower? What? Uh, kind of. Hey, Sean. You ready to rock? I feel good about this. Yeah, me too. This is, this is gonna be. Plan, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna be fucking loaded, guys. Yeah, it's okay, gonna. Be, it's gonna be so fine. How do we get there? We're taking one of Big Joe's trucks. Okay, is this really optional, or we would have to do this anyway? Oh, if we say no. Does Finn just take Daniel and then we have to like run and help or something or? Big Joe better be asleep, man. Oh, he's down for the night. Fuck him. Maybe we could take some of his cool stuff oh, too. God damn it. No fucking way, Daniel. Could have gotten laid. That house is a death trap. Let's reload. Big Joe probably has an arsenal. The whole place is probably booby trapped. That's not our mission. That wasn't oh, me. Man. The gate is locked. We just gotta get inside and get some wheels. No way I'll break that. Guys, this one's on you. Daniel, maybe you can... Ah. Uh... You better step back. Try to keep it quiet. If you can, Big Joe might wake up. Nah, he's a heavy sleeper. Damn, my contact's bothering me. Why does this keep happening? Let's bail. 
His eyes looked weird there. Joe, do you take your contacts out at night? Yeah, I have a, I, like daily disposable ones. Woo! My eyes aren't that bad, so I don't need um, like, special Hi, ones that man. I can reuse over and over. Really need to do this? At least no one will be watching us now. Quiet, Sean. Sounds expensive. It's not actually. I don't wear them every day, so I, they can last for a while. <sighs> Thank God. Okay, troops, we're invisible now. No when I just wear glasses, I do sometimes. No nothing. Cool. Yeah. I'll try that truck. But cool. I prefer to have like peripheral vision, peripheral what, what vision from uh, the contacts. Just watch Big Joe's house to see if anybody pops out. You good? Okay. Burr, burr. Figures. Check the other door now. Peripheral vision while gaming? Just peripheral yeah, vision see. in general. Like I'm I'm like a, a dog. I need to know what's going on all around me at all times. I think we're good for now. Thanks, partner. Keep up the good work. Like if any if anyone ever Careful sneaks up now. on me, like I'm devastated. Okay, well we tried all of them except for this one and you're not you're not letting me check this one. Is it both sides? Oh, okay, both sides. One door left to check. Wow, riveting. Check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. I, I think I can get that truck started. What? How? Talk. My dad. He's a mechanic, so I know he shit. Was a mechanic. Yeah. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck, just in case. I thought I was the shit. You are the fucking man, man. Plus, we could, uh, mess with all the other cars, so Big Joe can't follow us. You're starting to scare me. You're too good at this. Ah, oh, cool plan, bro. Yeah. We can look for things to use. Unrelated, but which Anything Persona game is your favorite? Five. I like I five more that. than four. The streams of four were better, though. Shit. Just keep. Okay, why don't we just get Daniel to use his telekinesis to like unlock the car from the outside? He can like he can move small pebbles, just like like you know, hit the lockup. Daniel, can you open that hood? Daniel, do this me? for me. Daniel, do that for me. Let me see. Daniel, Daniel. Oh, this you'll get him to unlock. Oh, crap. Three, five, four. There's no way three is the best one. Okay, shh. Quiet. Sorry. No, no. I asked you. Fuck. Now let's be quick, guys. All we gotta do is get this open. Daniel, open it. Daniel, open Just it. Just gotta find a way to keep that truck here. Daniel, open it. Okay, let's slash the Need tires. To find something to slash these. Yeah. Okay. Finn, what are you doing? So, uh, how much money is in the safe? Enough for everybody, little man. I mean, little rich man. Yes, we can do whatever we want. 
Yeah, and in no time, like I said. All right, screwdriver on the tires. What could go wrong? Damn, these treads are like bricks. What the hell? Way too strong to pop. What was that? So, find anything? Eco-friendly, my ass. They're just criminals. Daniel, open this. Daniel, slash the tires. Daniel, what the hell is this floating this. here? Sure. Easy. It's not the one that we broke. Sean, I know these trees are gorgeous, but please speed up. Come on. Really? It's the big one? Oops. Be careful. Serious. Sorry. Jesus, what is the delay? It's none of them? Let's rush. Shot, move it. Go, go. Yeah. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. You got it, sweetie. Think fast, Sean. Yes, you did it. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Drive. You rock, Sean. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Oh, shit. That was close. You okay, Daniel? Oh, yeah. Doesn't he have an assault rifle? How do you have those? The money, and then head back to the camp and bail out with everyone. You sure they're gonna be okay with that? They will when they see the money. Trust Kay. me. Isn't let's move. Whoa, the the, the game's kind of buggy, huh? Man, Isn't Big I'm Joe gonna be at the camp right now, being like, "All right, time. who stole my truck?" Really? Fucking a. Oh, Meryl Sean and cool. Finn are missing. Must but be he's them. Still just a fucking. Crew. By the way, careful, guys. The place is rigged with cameras. You. Come on. Pot isn't scary. Oh, no, nah, it's fine. Who cares? Nice work, Sean. Oh, no. Smile at the camera, dumbass. Locked on the other side. Gotta find a way to get that bar off. 
Don't be loud. I know. Can't let you do again. that, Star Fox. Daniel opens the safe. Finn's dead. We grab the money, then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? Yep, that for sure. Breaking into the principal's office was more interesting than this. Well, well, well. Oh no. Come on in. If only we had I've destroyed the cameras. cameras. Yeah. Fucking amateurs. Sure, yeah. Destroying right. them would have been better Move though, your right? Essence over there. Uh, Meryl. Now. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. Okay, Daniel. So, knock, knock him down. What was your big fucking plan, exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Hey, this guy seems pretty reasonable, boss. actually, Anything considering right? his station in life. Yeah. Come in. These dumb fucks didn't even mess with the cars to stop me. <laughs> oh. So specific to what we could have done. <laughs> All right, I won't be able to chase you, but you're going to have to do three more acts of sabotage to make me stay in this trailer with my dog. Bet they got their plan from a TV show. Okay. Did you search them? Nah. What's going on with the door? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, they're clean. That was fast. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't shut up and do it. Come on, sir. Do it. We we could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now. Uh, discuss. Wait. Let me explain. Oh yeah. Explain this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Back up, bitches. That's probably faster. Don't insult me by acting like you've got a reason to steal. Don't! For the last Man. time. Chloe could have talked her way out of this. Knees. You know what? Your drugs are really bad, and your weed sucks, bro. And he's like, how dare you talk that way to me? I was your boss. And then she's like, options show up. One of them is boss of this. Boss, boss, this gestures to crotch. Yeah, finger guns up. Bald guy turns to the guy and is like, It's not looking good, boss. She just told you. Uh, uh, hey, how dare you talk that to me after I gave you a job? I got a job for you right here. Munch my coochie, you motherfucker. Uh, what? I'm putting this gun in your fucking face right now and blast you away. F option shows up. 
Blast! I'm putting you on blast right now, motherfucker! You get out of my face! I'm taking this money from the safe! Alright! Fuck this shit! I'm out! Throws the shotgun out! You deal with him! Nah, I'm coming too, boss. I'm not messing with her. She's one badass hoe! Yeah! Wow, Chloe! That was really great! Eh, it was nothing. Just hella cool. Alright, let's get the money and get out of here! Meryl? No! <laughs> Don't break my balls now, kid! Daniel? You got this. Don't move. Don't fucking move! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> It's not like I want to do this. You don't know. The people I deal with are worse. That's true. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore. Daniel, do it! What? Shit! Get out! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh my god, things are happening. Things are happening. Oh no! He's gonna stop the bullet with his mind. Alright, is he gonna fly? Now, cut to the next scene. Just the three of them standing around with Cassidy. Yeah, so it didn't go very well. Oh, well. All right, see you later. Yeah, I'm going to catch the next train. All right, bye. No! I was really kidding. There's no, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, we got the money. Oh, maybe this is just the end. Never mind. Oh, there's no music! Yeah, fuck. They really need to put a sign up. I didn't realize. What's the music? Hello, Darkness, my old friend? It's so awkward without the music. Man, he got shot in the leg. He's done for. Daniel's gonna pull through, but fucking Finn's done. I can't wait for us to get to a game where there's a bidet in a scene and everyone just loses their mind. It's actually Cotton Eye Joe playing. That's a banger. Cotton Eye Joe on, on Beat Saber is an intense workout, man. One of my favorite Beat, uh, Beat Saber tracks. Is this just a bad end right now? Like, what's going on? Is 
Is that glass in his eye? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Well, something happened at least. That was shockingly boring. You made coffee for the others after drinking the last cup. You hit a bullseye with knife throwing. You tried to be understanding when Daniel mentioned Karen. You asked Daniel why he doesn't wear his watch. You intervened when Big Joe slapped Cassidy. Your trimming was average. What? What? You didn't help Daniel with his chores. I did. I asked and he said no. You were sober at the campfire. You stayed up late and got a haircut. You came forward when Daniel hit Big Joe. You were in for the heist. You and Finn remained friends. You and Finn kissed. You didn't get a tattoo. You chose to have a wolf tattooed. You let Cassidy choose your tattoo. You went to the lake and had a midnight swim with Cassidy. Cassidy got angry at you. Cassidy didn't get angry at you. You kissed Cassidy. You didn't kiss Cassidy. You didn't enter Cassidy's. Oh, we missed out, man. We missed out. You woke up. Look look, look at these chads that 62% were like kiss and then got to the tent and were like, you know what? Nah. We're just going to stop here. You woke up Big Joe and he went after you. You sabotaged Big Joe's vehicle so he wouldn't come after you. You alerted Meryl while sneaking into his house. You came in after Finn and Daniel broke into Meryl's house. You snuck into Meryl's house without being noticed. Oh, what? And then he just notices you when you go in there and it's just like, who cares? You took the gun from Meryl's safe. You didn't take the gun from Meryl's safe. Oh, no. Could we have gotten through this? Like, fine. Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy would have came with us if, uh, if uh, Finn took him. All right. You told Daniel to use his power and Finn wasn't killed. You did nothing and Finn wasn't killed. You did nothing and Finn was killed. You shot Meryl and Finn was killed. Alright, so it's, it seems like it uh, it went okay. Daniel waited for you in the morning. Daniel didn't wait for you. Daniel refused your help doing the dishes. Okay, there we go. Dan why, why are we so on the rocks with Daniel? Daniel refused... What's 0%? 0% you shot Meryl? Yeah. Uh, Daniel refused to help with the water tanks. Daniel went to sleep alone. Daniel refused your help with the dishes. We don't worry. Daniel used his power, got injured, and lashed out. Finn was shot dead, and Daniel lashed out at Sean. Hold down. All right. Time for the most important one of all. Did the one guy play episode three? <gasps> oh, my God. We're in, we're in uncharted waters. I can't believe it. Episode one and two. I was just like, I'm done. Holy crap! Amazing. Bigger, bigger plot twist than the game. I've been looking forward to this all episode. Holy shit! Wow. I am the one guy now. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Would you still be playing if you weren't streaming it? Fuck this is no. It, son. You're toast. End of the road. What's this? New Vegas? No way out this time. Um. We got a lot of room in jail for cop murderers like you. You're alone now. Oh no. Alone. It's police officer X. Okay, so some vigilante comes uh, after us. All right, so it is uh, play episode. No, I want to see the episodes. Play episode, Faith, and then Wolves. All right, episode four is the good one. Is it? Steve Ho's Wild Mice Ranch. Alright, how do we feel about mouse girls, chat? 
What's the hierarchy? Mouse girls above or below moth girls? Remember. Remember how much you wanted a moth girl in Mars Needs Senpais. Above? Below? Pull it! Pull it! Above? Mouse and moth are both awful. I agree, Merrick. Alright, usually I try to stream for five hours. We have 90 minutes left. Should we... And I'm not streaming tomorrow, so if we start today, we could probably finish on Saturday. And... Like, I don't know, man. Like, if we keep going a little bit. But, like, one episode of stream seems right. I just, like, fuck. <laughs> I don't want to. Alright, let's just keep going. Alright, fuck. Do, do, do. Time for the wolf recap. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world. Yeah, there were two, there were two wolves. wolves yeah, and then their the dad died. Their yeah. Uh huh. They lived in skip. Peace. I can't skip. Until hunters took their dad away. <coughs> and they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was a was super a wolf. Man, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. And they met even more wolves. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs okay. who worked in a secret farm. Yeah. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. Why do wolves they were need happy gold? to find others like them. And everybody loved the little wolf. Yeah. Who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother loved having a new pack to prowl around with. He felt free for the first time. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf. No. And destroyed everything. How do you get to Meryl's house if the they take the, the truck without you? And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Teleport? Three vehicles? You go there and steal another truck? You get another truck? Wow. So Finn and Daniel pull it off better than you when you're there. All right, are we really missing an eye now? That's hardcore. Well, better than that than to take some shards of glass to the leg. This, we were here before. This is the same park as before. Why are we back here? Another flashback? Eye patch wolf, nice. Uh oh. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. That was totally unintentional, right? I wish we didn't go along with Finn. Totally intentional. No, I wanted to. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. Why is his eye fixed? This is a this is a dream. Right? I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please. Come and get me. Yes. I, I swear. Oh, you didn't say the right things. Uh, stop. Uh-oh. Wait, they shaved the rest of his head? Why would they do that? Doctor, we got a bad, a bad case of a shitty haircut in here. Oh my god, I've never seen it this bad. Code blue. Bzzz. Fuck. Alright. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Coma? Coma? Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Does he always lose an eye? I'm guessing so. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Oh. Oh, we're... We're done? We're caught. Yes? Wow, choices really don't matter. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked, plus in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. All right. This is unexpected. All right. I'm kind of interested. Let's see where this goes. March 30th. March 30th? Tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I, like a David cage, but I suck now. No depth perception. No art. No shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Yeah, that's gotta be hard. Special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me, trap me, or trust me. So fucked. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. Happy birthday, Daniel. Wherever April, wherever you are, and I know April fifteenth. Clarence Stevens sent me a nice letter. So lonely. I read it twice. Weird how I miss him now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit too. Glad he's doing fine. Wait, what? He's okay? My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Eh, not really. All right, so like, he's with mom, right? He's got to be. There's nothing else it could possibly be. This must be my punishment. Yay! Stupid reality shows. Um, it's not on, bro. Is that copyright? Oh, he's not gonna be able to draw properly. It's using the gameplay mechanic as a story. Whoa. It's so hard to focus. I gotta practice way more. <laughs> the tattoo? <laughs> so I cut your hair and I also took the liberty of lasering, lasering that thing off your arm. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. What was the point of three episodes on the run if he's just going to end up in police custody in episode four? Just three episodes of filler before the real story starts? I 
Draw prison bars. Draw staircase. It's about the journey. I'm I'm not about that. I'm about the ending. I'm about the point. And she's buying a stairway. That sounds a like fucking masterpiece, huh? Wish I could find a highway to freedom. It's boomer music, but it's good boomer music. Overrated? Wow. The song is about heroin, Joe. Pretty much all the songs are about heroin. I'm glad the cops didn't mess with them, too. Hola, Sean. The cops and doctors won't tell me anything They're about what's really going on with you and Finn, except that you were injured and in, in, in police custody. That's how I got the hospital name. They interviewed, interrogated me, Hannah, and Penny, and let us go. Both of you weren't so lucky, I guess, or maybe you earned it. I hope you're okay after what happened. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to... to but, she typed this? The police were stoked to bust out to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us poor gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but no answer, surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our rail family is kinda of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll, we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and I hope you will get some form of justice. I hope you and Daniel you'll find your way home soon peace Cassidy all right so what's gonna happen here is that like like it's gonna be like leaked to some cop that it turns out that we're not gonna be charged for it because they because they don't understand like how the explosion happened and it's not us and we had nothing to worry about all along and he's not gonna like that so he's gonna kidnap us from the, the, to the hospital and be like no you need to suffer and then we're gonna go through like four hours of like shit in the desert as he puts us through some trial with police officer X no, you have to suffer. Walk through the desert and try and run away. Ha ha, you can't. Ha ha. I'm going to take your other eye. What a shit tattoo. Can I get up? You know what's good in games? When you can walk around. This day feels like every other day. Call Joey. Just like prison. Hey, Joey, where's Dawson? Hey, I'm bored, Joey. Think more cage? So we're going to get sexually assaulted? Okay. Man. This Bold move. Life is nuts. strange, too. Talking to someone will be at least a change. Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Yo. Yo. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Hi. Pecans and chocolate? Joey uh -oh. here. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Julie. I wonder if he actually... I'm sure chat knows if they've played this game before. I wonder if he actually lost the eye or if the eye is just... Needs time to heal. Like, is it completely gone? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, 
Try to follow the light as well as you can. Good, good. Keep going. Oh man, now this is quick response. Nice. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now Looking try to good, align Sean. Your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Okay, that went through. Yeah, that's enough. That went through. Too much stress on you. It went through. Eye. It it clipped. Remember, it went. Your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. I'm a pirate. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. You did. <laughs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> you ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, oh, true. So we're going to escape. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Whoa, are you allowed to do that? Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. I like Stay Joey. Cool. I like Broy. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to. Go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. Where's your lawyer? So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. Is that spelled right? You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. Okay, how did I kill him? Explain. Innocent until proven guilty. Like you care. It didn't kill anyone. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? He was killed. Yeah, he came outside. Then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Yeah, you Jesus. sure you didn't get no. upset and went after the officer? Look at me. Are you okay. sure? Let's just jump ahead. Okay. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. Yeah, what happened? I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? Fracture or we broken? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. Okay. Fuck. Robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Finn. 
It was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? Yes. I went along. I had to get money for Daniel. No choice. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was gonna happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. Your friend is learning the hard way. I learned to, didn't want this, don't lecture me, don't lecture don't me. Don't lecture me, okay? I did exactly what I had to do to take care of my family. After what you had to... Why do we get the wolf story recap if this is also a recap? Don't, you already forgotten the... Hey, explain to me just what happened in the last scene that you literally just played, Chloe. All right, here we go. We went to the junkyard. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to the junkyard and we were talking to Frank. Okay, who's Frank? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Frank. Okay, and then what happened? And then Rich Lambert just went fucking crazy. Oh, let's explain all the fucking detail. Go through. I get it. But that doesn't change the situation. Or let you off the hook. I can't believe you since just Joe so Well, the hell is just, just being honest? She's she's a a lie sniffer. I also said that I went along with it right afterwards. It's fine. Thank you for your statement, Sean. It's really helping. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. Don't speak out loud. Well, that's true, but the game's not letting me say I want my lawyer. Might be a while. But you do have a support group. I guess your grandpa can walk now after his surgery. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. She's with Daniel. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Do, do, uh, hold do, on. Do, do, I gotta do, take this call. Do, do, do. She's your lawyer? No, no, she's an FBI agent that's not letting us have a lawyer. Because when you're dealing with the FBI, you're not allowed to have a lawyer. It's one of the rules. It's just how it works. It's one of the Is rules. Back in jail now? Yeah, it's 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 the same way that if um, oh, fuck, if what you've got if you've gotten a, a woman pregnant, you can't get another woman pregnant while the first woman's pregnant. It's it's one of those weird rules. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you too, big joke. At least Cassie wasn't at Merrill's do, do, when it. Do, 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 Wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Man, what happened to Jacob? Prison would fuck him up. Is that who Daniel's with? Oh, Daniel and Jacob's big, big fucking adventure. Okay. We just have to wait. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Take your time. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The bureau put it. Oh, oh, oh. That's our job. All part of the job. Profile out over four states. So we are on the case. Yeah, Chase is on the case. You lied to me. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. What was that snap of animation? When the fuck did I lie? Fuck. You. you. Yeah. I'm done. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Do you think he's pooped since he got here? He's not at home. Hospital toilet. They probably don't Look have a bidet. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? Oh, nice. 
I'm free. Great. Detective Flores said I'm free to go. Woohoo. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Yep, that's how long it takes. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying. I will. You don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Oh no, you see my tattoo? The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Can we see it? Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to okay, process is it, first. Ugh. Is it just the same model, just the eye is missing? Shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Jail for life. Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. Yeah, I thought you out of here, but you're being do, really depressive. But I promise you're just, you know, a treat coming. You're ruining away. my cool. So no, I'm not now gonna let you out. Your Sorry. Wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. They they let let him leave with like having to clean that or Okay. Coat the area using the swab and cream. All right. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. We could be playing AITSF right now. What the hell Remember, is that? Remember, you got to do this. Four this times is important to the story. We're going to have to do this at one point. I'm sure it will be. I won't forget. We're going to be in a hotel room soon. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. While Officer X is hunting us down. More. Oh, no. I need to clean my Dude. eye. You saved my ass here. Were you run, running through a desert? And be like, oh, oh no, I have to hold my eye. I haven't been cleaning my eye enough. Remember what he said. Sterile gauze with the cream. Saline. No, I need to do it. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Emergency. I'm out. Creature report. Break, Creature report. Tomorrow. Oh, Good Sean. Report. Check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Oh, it's a key card to get out of here. Catch you later. Totally. My God, it's a gun. <sighs> Joey. You are her boss. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? I truly think Where? that the Hatsu Miku main menu stream he has been more interesting than this one. But too far. <sighs> Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Now a third recap. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere. <laughs> He's safe. I could see him again. Huh. 
had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more. We don't have easy Sean. I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. How did he have time to write this after they were taken? And I guess... I guess it was in his tent and he... Okay. Alright, I get it now. Alright, I get it. So, after the explosion, he goes into... The, he goes into the, he finds Daniel with... The, goes into the tent with Daniel and leaves this message in the journal thing it's going to get to him. Okay, that, that's what happened. Alright, I get it. Is there anything Finn can't do? Well, he can survive a bullet to the leg, so yeah. Okay. I'm done. I read it. I read it. I would like to leave. I'd like to leave. I'm done. Please. Haven. Okay. I gotta I get to him. What? I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. So playing Captain Spirit was really pointless. Huh? Yep, pretty much. Hope Hospital. Okay. Time to jump out of the here. window, Hajime. This I'll catch you. So quiet. So don't make any noise. Find a way to get the hell out of here. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Let's just hide under the bed. Nada. W what were we hoping to find? Man, I guess my depth perception has gone too, because I have no idea what the fuck this game is trying to say. Let's just jump. Let's make a, a rope out of bed sheets. Maybe I could, uh, let's go. Rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Is there a bidet? Is there a bidet? Hold on. Hold on. Is there that a bidet? There a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. Seat for the shower. Toilet. Gar you get garbage? Good. No plunger, though. Grab bar. Damn, now I need a thing to take a shit. <sighs> yeah. That metal bar isn't going anywhere. Looking good, Sean. Lotion soap. It is it is literally the same model, but they just took the eye out. Like there's no scar or anything there. It it is literally just there is a missing eye from the model that was there before. This one isn't screwed in. Oh no, tear off. Now I have a weapon, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Why, why do we want it? <clears throat> yes, now I have this. What the hell are you doing in there? Taking a shit. Come in and find out. <sighs> nice Bump. job, Sean. Whoa! Now the guard is awake and pissed off. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. Should have uh, farted to hide the noise. <sighs> Wish I could just... walk out. <sighs> They've been working on these rooms forever. <sighs> My backpack has gotta be somewhere around here. Does it? I don't think it would be, actually.
I've lost the last four hours. What happened? Okay, so just th this is the story that we're at right now. Okay, here's what happened. Two brothers, they live in Oregon. Father gets killed by a cop. The little brother reveals he has telekinetic powers and explodes the cop. And then after that happens, they get arrested. They get split up. The little brother gets away from the cops and runs away and is with some guy named Jacob. Meanwhile, we got taken to the hospital because we heard our eye in the explosion that killed the cop. And uh, now we're trying to get to our brother. Why not? That looks so fake. But it might work for a second. So true. Need a superhero to open that shit. Okay, why don't you unlock it with a little stopper thing that's here? Pry it open with the with the the stick you got. I hope my last view of this world isn't this window. Pry bar. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. That's what it looks like if a hospital professionally melon ball your eye out, right? To keep the glass sight. Is it? Considering what happened to him, I'm expecting to be like more swelling, like an actual like like a wound that he's trying to dress or whatever, right? Like more stuff inside the eye instead of it just being like empty. Like I don't know. It's dead tonight. Works for me. Works for me. Ooh. I could slip into one of those rooms under construction. Scaffolding. All right, how are we getting out? Yeah. Me and my friend tried to do this to get into his house once when he was locked out. And we, we tried to pry open the window. And the whole entire window pane, like, from the, the stress and tension of it, shattered over our heads. <laughs> Just fucking... Maybe just rain down all the, over us. What do you get? This is crazy, dude. And that's when I learned that getting hurt and not realizing it is actually a thing. Because I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't believe I didn't get hurt. And like, I had glass in my hair. I was fine. No glass on my face. No glass in my eyes or whatever. And it was like ten minutes after we after we crawl went through the the window because once it was open it was like that's it it's broken we can go in he was in really big trouble we went through his, his kitchen window into his house it was 10 minutes later i'm in his bathroom because i had to pee i didn't poop though because this is my friend's house i'm not insane but i really didn't need to have to pee um i'm peeing and i looked down and i had like like a little like inch long piece of glass sticking out of my thumb right below the thumbnail and i'm like oh shit how long has that been there like didn't even notice for so long so it wasn't hurt too badly. Out. Just get out. I just pulled it out and it was fine. It was like a very shallow um, cut. Those dominoes? Don't think. Yeah, when I got hit by Just a metal girder and it took him out to notice. Yeah, it's it's going. crazy how much uh, you can ignore. Holy shit! Oh. Kind of like weebs ignoring um, breath, plot contrivances. This is pretty dangerous. I don't think I could do this. Damn. Way too close.
Wouldn't this be a fun situation to, to, to use death. rewind powers? How do you get out of this room? That could be fun. Oh my god, it's David Madsen. He's a hospital cop now. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. He's insane. Do 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 do. Oh, let's take some shit. Yeah, gotta clean my eye. Joey said it was important. Let's do it right in front of him. Oh, back into the other room. All right, now back to our hospital room. You actually went for your clothes and backpack. All right. Freeze. That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? <laughs> no internal monologue. No deliberation. He just... <laughs> Wait, are you gonna try to drive when you just lost an eye? Alright, time to go back and get Finn. He's gonna have to drive for me. Damn, who just leaves their car unlocked? What? Alright chat, someone on chat will know. In your average parking lot, how many cars are left unlocked accidentally? Is it like... Is it common? Because I don't think so. I thought you could only hotwire a truck. This isn't a truck. Yeah, nailed it. Okay. A lot of people leave their cars on to leave them heated, but you can you can leave a car on and leave the, the door locked, right? Can't you? No, no you can't, okay. Wow, he just left. No, then the queue would be inside. Oh, you mean leave the whole ass car running? Not just like leave like the the heater on or what? Is the is the key? I don't have a car, so I don't know this shit. Sorry, chat. I'm really ignorant. Is the key that you use to unlock the door of the car the same key that you use to start the car? In every case. Yeah, it is. If I had two of those keys, could I leave my car running, get out, lock the door, where's the music, and, and then come back and then open the door again? What if I have one of those keys that has a button that starts the car when I'm not in it? Like, you press the button and it's like... And it's like, yeah, you know? like. So I could totally have a car running and the door locked. All right. Oh, we get some music this time. All right, time to Skype Lila. 
Oh no, death reception. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Why isn't your seatbelt on, bro? Bro! When I was a kid, uh, I went to uh, work with my dad a couple times, and for whatever reason, I can't remember why, um, one of my dad's uh, work friends, workmates, um, had to drive me somewhere on one of those days. They 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 were like going out and getting lunch or whatever, and he's like, "Do you, do you want me to take uh, take your take your kid uh, with me?" So I went with him. And like he's out driving and he's picking out some stuff and we're in the the front seat of his car I think it was a van actually and he's not wearing a seatbelt. So I say to him, you know, like like why aren't, I, I think I was like I was like eight, all right. So I was like I, like why aren't you wearing your seatbelt? That's really dangerous, isn't it? And he's like he he looks at me all somber and he's like, look, you can wear your seatbelt if if you want, all right. But you know, a few years ago, I was in a car accident and it, when when the car crashed. I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, and I f and I flew through the windshield, and and when I got up, I turned around and I saw my car catch on fire and then explode. And if I'd been wearing my seatbelt, I would have died. So now I don't wear my seatbelt anymore. Now at eight year old, at eight years old, I looked at him and I thought, my God, this guy's RoboCop. As an adult, I'm like, wow, you're so full of shit, you just don't want to wear your fucking seatbelt, and you're telling an eight-year-old kid that, like, you fucking, like, this fucking fucked up story. And I have to go back and tell my dad and been like, dad, you know your friend, he went through the windshield, he exploded, he looks at me like I'm an insane person, you wear your fucking seatbelt. <laughs> But at eight years old, I thought that guy was like, wow, this guy's seen some shit. I believe him. You're the asshole, I believe your dad's friend. Wow. Do you think I was being double played? Do you think do you think that guy went back to my dad and said your kid your kid put on his seatbelt even after I told him that story he passed he passed the uh, the dumbass test like what do you think or do you think he is actually that that shitty <laughs> guess this is my room for the night shit. Oh no. It will never hold until Haven Point. Okay, I don't think it's even holding tonight if you need to turn the heater on or anything. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Yep. Oh, Wait. Come on. You took the card? Did you interview everyone in that hospital? For what? Oh, okay. Maybe she slipped it in your bag. Maybe she knew. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Drop off kids, hospital checkup, lunch with hubby, Miss Scott's x-ray blood test, pick up kids, night shift. Uh-oh. Oh, time to do the eye. Remember what to do. Here we go. Are you fucking serious? Please just do it. Don't ask me to what order and shit. Just do it. All right. Careful. Ah, 
Man, I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Didn't Daniel get shot in the shoulder? How was he? He didn't have to go to the hospital. They probably found found a veterinarian and they fixed them up. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Laugh Point. All right. Okay. Are we going to sleep? Wires. What a mess. Flores can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Get some sleep. Wait, you're just, you're gonna sleep sitting up? Go in like the back and lay down. What are you doing? Your neck is gonna be fucked in the morning. At least, like, recline the seat. What are you doing? Honest to God, for a second there, I thought that was Chloe, and it was, like, Chloe and Max, like, suddenly here. Like, here we go. Hey, Traveler, we're on the road. How's it going? Like, we're just... <laughs> Out of this century. Okay, that's it? Wait, is this the same car? Is this a dream? Still with oh, me, oh, yeah, of course. He has two eyes. Yeah. All right. Just zoning out. Hey, William. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. My son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. Oh, it remembers. Hey, I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> you're the coolest. <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. Oh, maybe this is the dad's you, um, dream. Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. So what did the game actually do with the imported Captain Safe so fault? The the fact that um Chris answered the phone and heard the Darth the Vader thing. That's it. I think that's the only thing that was Way imported. Too long. I love road trips. Cause it was Daniel that did it. Daniel Good answered it. And his By outfit the way, Oh the outfit can be different. Oh. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> Who? Don't want to talk. Going okay. Not much to talk about. Uh, well, not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. God, scenes like this feel like they had an idea for the scene and they were like wouldn't it be it, it, it makes a lot of sense right now to give sean like this dream scene where he gets to talk to his dad right it would be like bittersweet and whatever and it'd be like it fits the moment here he's going to sleep in the car right okay all right what are they going to talk about i don't know <laughs> eh. is that is that important nah it's fine it's just the scene that matter okay it's over i kind of miss her try out try out new stuff i just want to Try out new stuff. I mean, figure out what I like, what I want, you know? Yeah, I get it. You're young, you've got time to settle down. Maybe you will, eventually. <laughs> ah, could that be Daniel? Hola, hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. Cause he's we dead. He's driving real slow and safe. 
like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her <laughs> when you have time. Someone in Jad's yesterday wrote, wrote, um, grandmas, like, like, grandma's something i don't know what it was but they didn't put the apostrophe so it was grand m-a-s and my head like legit for like 10 seconds read it as grandmas and i was like what fucking thing are they trying to make me play now <laughs> what what the fuck is grandmas like this is the fucking new one after yeekmas like i was like and i was like oh yeah grandmas all right <laughs> oh, oh, oh sounds like someone is still thinking about you yeah lila yeah. I know. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? I'm fine. I've changed. I miss you. I miss you. It's too big, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam. And find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Aw. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Seriously, episode oh. two three didn't By even need way, to exist. Oh. Hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Your your property? I'm leaving. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. No, just start the car and leave. Start the car and leave. Start the car and leave. I'm leaving now. Yeah, start the car and no leave. No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said out. Why didn't you lock the door? We don't need cops. Sean, are you an are like you an you idiot? Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. What are the chances of them f someone find I needed some There's a fucking sign. Oh, sorry. Did you see it? I No, actually. Was too exhausted. Look, point to your face. No, I didn't actually. No. Don't I have a good reason? No, I didn't. I guess I missed it. Points to face. Oh yeah, he is missing. He's just a kid and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? An accident, a fight, an accident, an accident. I got into an accident. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. Please. This guy's a, this guy's a I dick. I just want to go. Oh, ho, what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? It's not what you think. Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Beaner? Get it. Let's see what he's holding. So, it's a slur good. for Mexicans, is Any it? Money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Where does that come from? Take it back, do nothing. Uh, let's take it back. Whoa, you did not. That's it, boy. Beaners because Mexico and beans get that. That's it. That's awful. That's like we're like that's almost as bad as like fucking red pill from the fucking Matrix. Get up. Up. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey, Chad? Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? What what? 
hablas espanol? Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Soy un... Sucio ladrón. Soy un sucio ladrón. Nice. Sounds better when you say it. <laughs> this is fun. Now say, uh... I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh, what did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Este no es... Mi país. Say it like you mean it, boy. Ooh, lightning. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. All right, what is it? Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. Will be very upset if you refuse. Was this necessary? No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! Uh. What the fuck, man? Uh. Holy cow, what are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now. Oh, I'm surprised he's letting us go. And you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man. Okay? Turn around. Drive straight into him. Yep, let's go. Fuck! Wow. Fuck! I don't think that was very good chat, but okay. So the the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. It was realistic, at least. Uh, was it? Again, I feel like I shouldn't talk about this because I don't know, but th th that didn't really ring true to me at all. I don't think that was realistic. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Let's just walk in the road. 
Larry's fireworks. This looks pretty good. Did we write in the journal about what happened? Was in a coma for weeks. Let's try to frame me again. Can't blame her for trying. Rachel Nevada. Stuck at the hospital. Okay, we know all this already. All right. Oh, shit, I need a break. Might be some shade at the next billboard. What's that? Drain? Stop. Can't run for miles in this heat. <sighs> Did Sean earn his BAFTA yes. performer in a leading role? Um, I feel like he's all over the place, actually. Sometimes it's pretty good, and sometimes it's not good at all. Which is the opposite of really good. Very inconsistent. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Had a lot of work to do, though. The, so much... It's uh, like hiking in hell. So much dialogue. It is acted. Oh, we have water. Nice. Shit. My throat feels like sand. Oh. Uh, he's got to be like super recognizable, right? Like freshly one-eyed fugitive, teenager. Good. He goes in anywhere. He's done. Let's Never draw. Never desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Big cyberpunk vibes. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Would you recognize the top 10 most wanted people in Canada if you passed them in the street? No, but if I saw, like, on the news that there is a, a, a one-eyed kid that is wanted and is running away from the police, that would probably stick out in my memory. That's what I meant. Like, it's not just that he's wanted. It's, like, it's the, the fact that he has he's missing an eye and he just escaped from the hospital shortly after it. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. I don't watch the news. I read online. I'm ready you know to what I meant. Now. I need to train my visual memory even harder now. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything Atlantic else. Canada News, man. I guess I could spice things up a bit. Make the whole thing funnier. Draw hell. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I always start hurting when I focus for too long.
great rest. I would be miserable doing this. Where are we? Yeah. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. I hope we can work out everything that's happened. <gasps> Daniel? Yeah. You can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Shit. This place is freaking me out. Hope I'm not running into a trap or something. Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? Trucker X. He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. It's Brody, he has a new Just job. See what he wants. Hey, Sean. I'm a trucker now. Just want to let you know. Truckers can't be cops. Right? Ooh. That's the line of dialogue. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. This is actually a really hard decision. <sighs> ah, whatever. Yeah. Thanks. Hold up. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? Got beat up. Yeah, got beat up. I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens I mean, a lot around. They had a reason. It wasn't a very good reason, but they had a reason. Okay, are we cool or, or what? Your hands on. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... Had to piss. I had to make a shit stop. Yeah. Over. <laughs> Good old shitcock. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Oh, damn, I owe him a beer because of you. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up. If I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. There, there's a hitchhiking law? So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. Thank you? <sighs> I am. Okay. Uh, Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My, My son wife Brody is out here somewhere. The best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously, 
Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. It's illegal to hitchhike in Nevada, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Utah, and Wyoming. Is it illegal to offer someone a ride in those states I just said and can't remember? What's your destination? Yeah, it's illegal to offer. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh, yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Born in the USA is being muted right now. Is it really? <laughs> Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Okay. Hey, don't worry, kid. This guy... I'm not a fucking weirdo. Uh-huh. Don't have a nap. Just don't have a, a nap. Don't have a nap. Boring don't... trucker. Just a boring trucker. Boring trucker. I got toys in the back. Want to see? Okay, I'm guessing if I said I'm going to walk, he would force me to get in. No, I insist. No, I am too hot. I'm gonna die out here. I have to go. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay. Next, next ex exit. Torture Manor. Yeah! We're gonna wake up tied up. Last oh, stop. It all worked out. Even point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. Really makes Ten you feel forward. paranoid about everyone you meet. Literally me. Probably a good time to stop. But it, it's also almost uh, five hours, so we should probably stop now. Oh, great. This is going to go well. He is risen. Happy Easter. Always makes me think of bread. Universal Uprising Church, Haven Point. Pastor Lisbeth oh, so Fisher. This guy picked me up. Life is a gamble. Bet that on the Lord. To worry about him. Okay, so it's a church slash casino because that's fucking lit. Oh God! What's the matter? What? What's going on? All right. Uh, I think we. I think it'll. It's just auto saves, right? We should be fine. All right. All right. Oh. All right. So, please join us on uh, on Saturday for the stunning conclusion of Life is Strange Two. I think we'll just push through and get it done on Saturday, and then uh, I don't know what we're doing on Sunday. Excuse me. Um, it seems kind of bad to like take a day, come back, finish the game, and then take another day. So people can catch up for True Colors, but like uh, maybe we'll just jump right into True Colors, or maybe we'll just do something else on uh, on Sunday. Maybe we'll do um, uh, Alcimonium Files for two hours and then never play it again. I'm kidding. We're not playing that on Sunday. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeek on Sunday for Happy New Year. Isn't Yeek really long? About 
30 hours, it says. Oh, man. Reddit thread on the RPG subreddit. Tempted to pick three years ago by Love Depository. Tempted to pick up Yeek. Anyone here play it slash like it? It looks pretty cool, but I'm not... I'm not sure if ha if it has the plot and character development to match. The reviews seem incredibly divided on it, says this Redditor. Both my favorite games of all time and least favorite games of all time are in the divided category. Usually games that have 100% good reviews are just games I really like, but my absolute favorites are in the split review section, so I'm tempted to try this game. This game is by the same developer that made Two Brothers. Is it really? Based on Twitter's hashtag for the game, the general complaints are with the writing, combat, load times, and protagonists. Alright, that's everything. Aside from Undertale, I'm usually a little skeptical about Western-made JRPGs until I give them a try. Not even Cosmic Star Heroine got this much hate. <laughs> oh no, not Cosmic Star Heroine. Oh no, I heard Total Biscuit Love Two Brothers. He really did, yeah. I've never played it. chat what if I like yeek one off stream of science gate debate nope but you know I respect your attempt Steins gate fan you won't what if I do I don't want to not planning to but what if I do you won't is it really that bad that's like saying like saying what if I like rabbi ribby I was told that Rabbi Ribby is really good. Is it not? Thirteen Sentinels, Age of Strangers. How how are we playing Thirteen Sentinels? Is it on PC? Switch. <sighs> Is it on PS5? Yeah, it is. Alright, we'll play it on PS5 then when when we when we get to that in uh, 2024. I'm kidding. 2025. They're actually reworking the entire game right now. New combat system, cutscenes, characters. So if you play it next year, it'll be different than if you play it now. It's 13 Sentinels? Why don't they just make 14 Sentinels if that's the case? Love you, Joe. Love you too, Merrick. Merrick, are you interested in making an emote? My people will contact your people. But no stream tomorrow, but on Saturday. Yeah, no stream tomorrow. Uh, Lily has a thing and Jads has a thing, so... Uh, by the time I would start, it would be pretty late, so. No stream tomorrow, but we'll stream on Saturday. And then maybe we'll just jump right into True Colors on, on, uh, on Sunday. Jads has a thing. Yeah, Jads has a thing. If you want to go see, go, go look on Jads. Yeek, a postmodern RPG. Pronounced Y2K is an indie role-playing game, role-playing video game by American developer Axe Studios for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. The game was released on January 17th, 2019. It has received mixed reviews from critics. Plot. On April 4, 1999, Al Alex Eggleston, Chris Neosi... Oh, it's voice acted? Oh. 
That's surprising me for some reason. Returns to his hometown of Frankton, New, New Jersey, after receiving his BLA. Bachelor, Bachelor of Liberal Arts. Oh, waste of time. While out on an errand, a cat steals Alex's shopping list and leads him into a surreal abandoned factory where he meets and befriends Semi, Sammy, Pack, Kelly, Nicole, Duggan. In the factory's elevator, Sammy is suddenly kidnapped by two otherworldly beings and vanishes. Oh no. The next day, he returns to the factory with his neighbor, Michael K. Clifford Chapin, and they obtain photographic evidence of what Alex describes as a being made of stars. All right. So, this sounds bad. Oh, it's starring Brody. Is this Brody's origin story? Broogen story? Why is he holding a vinyl record? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Chrono Trigger, Lafia 2, Secret of Mana, those games are like the holy grail of my youth, says Michael. Alright, Michael, Lafia 2 and Secret of Mana are nowhere near Chrono Trigger, alright? Lafia 2 is alright, it has a cool kind of subversion moment. Secret of Mana is boring as fuck. Boring as fuck. That game is like four times longer than it needs to be. It's clunky as hell. It thinks its combat is way better than it is. You know, as a kid, I like Secret of Mana, it was a fun time, but holy shit, the Secret of Mana drag. Fuck you, dude, go play it again now. Go play it again now. You are remembering it better. The best thing about that line is that the game is said in 1999. Oh shit, you're <laughs> so exactly like Crow Trigger. No, Crow Trigger holds up. I've played Crow Trigger as an adult a couple times. Crow Trigger definitely had uh, uh, holds up. Maybe um, if I played it for the first time today, I wouldn't like it as much as um, if uh, when I played it for the first time as a kid. But Crow Trigger is one of the shortest JRPGs there is. It's really streamlined. Chrono Trigger is one of the best paced games ever. That's one of the reasons why it's aged so well. I think there's only maybe two parts of Chrono Trigger that drag. And a little bit at the beginning. And then when they first go back to um, as far back as you possibly can. Um, I'm trying to avoid spoilers. That kind of drags a bit. Uh, but for the rest of it, it's, it's paced really well. Chrono Trigger just has so much lag, like the whole game pauses for a few seconds every time you start combat. It's so frustrating to try to get into it. That, that's just how games were back there, then, man. Like, it's, it's setting up the, the turn based system, you know? Like, it, like, you're having a trade-off of all of the characters like getting in position to fight in the environment instead of being like pow, pow, oh all right now we're in the battle screen um like there's there's pros and cons for for both of them so it's like you know at that point you're just saying you just don't like turn-based games because you have to transition to the to the battle screen and i'm i'm with you there most of the time i don't really like turn-based games all that much either Look, look at all the people in chat trying to be so contrarian, taken after the streamer. Trying to be so contrarian, hating on one of the most universally beloved games of all time that is regularly at the, in the top 10 list of almost every single person who has been playing games for more than 10 years. Nah, nah, shit. It, when the fuck is Secret of Mana up there as much as fucking Chrono Trigger? Lafia 2. Rise of the Sinistrals. That is it, right? Lufia 2. Yeah, I remembered. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, the comment I made earlier about the game being worked was about Yeek not 13 cents. I, 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 sorry, I knew that. Sorry, I should have been more clear and followed that up that I knew that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Why aren't they just making Y3K? Like, why? I don't know. Why remake the whole thing? Strange. Same joke equals cat. <laughs> All right. Anyway, see you later, chat. See you on Saturday. No stream tomorrow. Happy New Year if I don't see you. Life is strange. She was picking up a bit. Let's hope that it keeps going. Wash your towels. Boulder, get a plunger. Get a fire extinguisher. Chat. Don't wear the same pair of underwear for more than one day. What is wrong with you? <sighs> Wash your towels after, after you use them. You can't use the same towel for a whole week's worth of shower, okay? Unless you're only showering like twice a week. And if you're only showering twice a week, then you have an even bigger problem, then don't you? So just make sure you're washing your...